everyone, and welcome back. Roncolo isn't just some magical place, and it's embedded in the soil. It's it's this. And remember, it's two raider captains that we're looking to dispatch. <laughs> I have learned the location of Haskell Pit. <gasps> Five people is less than six people. I think he has the upper hand right now, <laughs> and offering him scraps will do us no good. Oh my god. I'm gonna biff this shot. <laughs> <laughs> and as I in reload. that exact moment while you're reloading, oh, it oh. goes in for like a big body slam Doxley! hug. Yeah. And I need everybody to roll in the show. No. Oh, Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Tabletop Notch and our 28th chapter, <gasps> Broncolo. Wow. Um, thank you for those who stood by. We had some minor technical difficulties. Uh, oh, what are you talking about? <laughs> you're not having a stroke. The it's clock did indeed reset twice <laughs> to, to, to two minutes or whatever. It was. <laughs> um, daylight savings. <laughs> Broncolo. Seconding. Seconding. Yes, the Valley <laughs> Daylight Savings. <Yes. laughs> um, Yes, as I mentioned, chapter 28, um, we said a, a tearful and wonderful goodbye to the wonderful Kate Morey. That was the Erica. moistest episode of Tabletop Notch History. <laughs> Might have been. Yes. Did you like that? Every episode. <laughs> I saw, saw it on this table. <laughs> Cece, you're so sweaty. I, oh, <laughs> that is true. That is true. Um, I think we can say officially yes. now. I've been told. Oh, please announce. Oh, right. oh. Who wants to say it? Erica <laughs> yeah. is in the North American Broadway, Broadway tour of Wicked. The Wicked oh. Talented. Oh. Yes. 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 Oh. Erica is Wicked Talented. <laughs> if you are interested in seeing Erica in the show Wicked, where she's playing Nessa Rose, which mm -hmm. is humongous, you can yeah. look Big for role. the the national tour dates. Yeah. She starts May. Six, seven, seven. In May seventh in Hartford. Hartford. In Hartford, but she only goes to the, the first week of the next May. She doesn't do. Uh, she's not booked yeah. right now for the May entire tour, but May to May. May to May. May twenty twenty four to May twenty twenty five. Look it on the lots go. Join west, the Discord. Truly yeah. heading west. Yeah. Yeah. She's she's in oh, yeah. Lots of west coast. Lots of west coast stuff. Go support her and yeah, Defy Gravity and all the other. I, I'm out of reference. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and all this is. See? Yeah, I told yeah, you. Yes. I did that and Matt was like, what is that? <laughs> I was like, oh, I know that. Matt. I think there's a goat. Um, uh, Matt, you know there's a movie coming out this year, right? Yeah. <laughs> if you're a goat. fan of musical theater or Erica or Hartford, then <laughs> go see. I give Hartford a zero out of ten. She's going to other cities than Hartford, yeah, yeah. including LA. Salt Lake City. That would be very the most notable. Of the Broadway. Right, she's ending in Salt Lake City. Yeah. Uh, anyway, you're you're here with us tonight. Yeah, yeah. And this is the place to be. Thank you for joining us on Twitch live on Sunday nights. Um, there's other ways to watch and listen. Tuesdays, uh, you can go to the podcast store and listen to the podcast version. Uh, Fridays, there will be a YouTube video, unless you support us, unless you are a YouTube member or a Patreon subscriber, in which case you can get that a tasty YouTube video early on Tuesdays, those go live. Um, Ad free for those few days. Um, we're all over social media, whether it's YouTube, Instagram, uh, Snapchat. Threads. Threads. We're not on Snapchat, I'm sorry. He, he Snapchat's not for Snapchat. 12 year olds, he, don't worry about it. Oh damn, I thought it was for feet. It's no, well, you guys don't need to be on Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Cool. Well, Threads, we're old. Twitter. No. Oh, no, no, not that. <laughs> Chat, <laughs> table, <laughs> top notch. Stop you'll him. find it, you'll find us. <laughs> little clips uh, uh, from from past episodes, the current episode. Uh, uh, we're often in the comments there because uh, we love to read what you guys have to say about it. Uh, Kelly, about you're also on social media, right? Yes, I'm on social media at Kelly Hire. Forcing on... the segue. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Give it to me. Let's segue uh, on Instagram and TikTok. You can find me there doing all sorts of fun things. Mm. <laughs> Thanks oh, yeah. for letting me be here, guys. Mm. <laughs> yeah. 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 Follow yeah. Kelly, and while you're doing that, you, you'll have your browser open, and um, <laughs> perhaps you can go so to the merch store Ooh. for Tabletop Notch. We have a shitload of merch, a positive oh shitload so of merch, uh, stuff nerd. you can wear, and things you can drink out of, and hats you can put on your head. Um, so Hats. get over there and do your oh, merch shopping. Like that. that looks nice. Yeah. Oh, it's it's a cute bag. I think it's got a little dust on it. Oh. It's a little, little dust in Samson. Dust in Samson. Ooh. Ooh. Um, there's a lovely place called Discord. 
Uh, if you go to discord.gg forward slash tabletop notch, that's where you'll find us. And there's everything tabletop notch from fan art to that's pretty, that's yeah, there's a lot more too. <laughs> this is clearly I, your favorite part. Yeah, no, you know, it is. <laughs> the fan art too much work. It's <laughs> <laughs> very cool. Um, Really, if if you're not there, I know a lot of you are there, but if you're not there, go. Go there. Go oh. there. It's so cool. Better that. than Hartford. <laughs> oh, exactly. That should be our slogan. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, tonight is chapter. We already said it's chapter 28, 28, which is a multiple of four, which is a notch and so yeah. yeah. evening. So yeah. for watching on Twitch, just stick around after the episode. If you're a sub, we do like a Q and A hangout sesh after the fact and talk about all the lore that's been dumped on us. Um, but if you want to watch it uh, not on Twitch, uh, uh, big notch tier. No, sorry, top notch tiers on Patreon and then YouTube members and then Spotify members, subscribers, where you have to find the link. It's very discreet throughout the episode. I might just be throwing little hints on how to find it. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, stick around Be a little scavenger hunt. Stick around for and Soda. We always have a blast. We're thrilled to answer questions. Ask us about Kate's departure and what that means. And also our first guest at a Notch and Soda. Yes! Um, you guys want to know secrets? Yeah, ask, ask, yeah. Ask, ask, yes. Ask, I'm secrets. an aggressively <laughs> open book. So. <laughs> <laughs> ask me whatever. Um, so yeah, stick around if you're sub. Um, or if you've been gifted a sub, come on by and, uh, and we'll be chatting. Um, anything else? No. Uh, Patreon has a lot of other good stuff, but yeah, we've Patreon. taken up your time yeah. enough. You should join the Patreon. Uh, yes, uh, if anyone's oh. here who joined the Patreon recently, a lot of people subscribed, uh, yeah. possibly for the Thieves Guild content, so I we hope you're enjoying that. The most recent one was Thieves Can't and uh, how to sort of fun. craft your own Thieves Can't if you wish to do so, That's which has been featured very heavily. And you yeah. can also join Patreon for free, and there's lots of cool oh, yeah. free shit on there, including yeah. dope songs from Steven Joukowsky. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. The most recent one will make you weep. And a tribute mm -hmm. song as well. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Get over there. Right. Should I thank some uh, bitches? Please. Thank some yeah. bitches. Yeah. Right, bitches. <laughs> and the hoes. Uh, <gasps> <laughs> Thanks for joining tonight's stream. <laughs> uh, 901 LS, we subscribe. Jumpy, 7 Stream Street, Twitch Spark, gave out two community subs. Mr. Ward, we subscribed. Hype Train, whoop. Uh, Golden Dagger, 245 bits. <laughs> Jay Browning, 1,000 bits. Two first booty cheese, gave out 10 community subs. I bet Erica would love that. Yeah. Uh, right Channel, uh, 41, we Resubscribed, Adria resubscribed, Twitchy Spark resubscribed, Russell Audrin resubscribed, Solitaire resubscribed, Wild Me Popsicle resubscribed, Today Tree resubscribed, Toasted Valkyra resubscribed, Probably Brian, probably Brian resubscribed, Keys uh, 15 Street Street, Jay Brian 15 Street Street, Seth 1690 resubscribed, Sinister uh, resubscribed, and then we got another hype train at a. What is this percentage? Hype train complete at 5.4081818122%. Nope, I don't. <laughs> that's. What does that mean? Is that not on yours? Where are you Did seeing? You, I'm you. seeing it on my new stream manager I just app. see oh, 31 percent. 31 percent. I'm geeky resubscribed. Thank you all so very much. Thank you all very much. Cheers to that. Cheers, cheers, cheers. You got gifted a sub sticker out. Hell yeah. Yes, if you didn't have a sub and were gifted one by our very, very generous community, stick around, hang out, ask questions. Okay. Ooh. I think it's time for us to do the little recap, and then we'll throw it to the intro, and then we'll dive back in and see if we can't focus our efforts toward the goblin <laughs> camp. Yes. We can do it. I we will do it. by we killing do it. blow. We can do it. Yeah. All right, everybody. Here we go. Ooh, ooh! Previously, on Chapter 27, Depart and Parcel. The search for Nani Mitchell continued, but accessing the secret basement of the bank required tracking down a series of borrowers who'd reneged on their debts to the Thieves' Guild. As this was going on, Kate slipped away for some private discussions, for her time in Brunk Hollow was soon coming to an end. Family troubles in Saywall were forcing her to head back home, which unfortunately wasn't a good enough reason to placate Maeve. Still, in their final moments together, the ornery alchemist gave a sneak preview into what she'd been assembling with the help of the Mori family notes on Black Powder. Later that night, a foray into the butcher shop led to a fistfight that got a little bloodier than expected, but before that, Ace was able to ascertain that Nani had been kidnapped by goblin raiders who wanted her to examine something they'd discovered in the downwield. Would there be more butting of heads or putting heads together as the group set their sights to the southeast? And is Kate ever coming back to wield the weapon she willed into existence? Stick around and find out in Chapter 28, Broncolo. 
Weird that there's a gun in there. Um, before we uh, dive into the, don't get too excited. It's oh. not inspiration. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not it was inspiration. Um, we are going to rewind a little bit. Um, there was a lot of things we were trying to get through uh, the night before, and I didn't want to shortchange anything. And, and Morna graciously did not <laughs> elected not to uh, do one of her tasks for the evening. But as the party was running around completing some of their guild debt mm. cards. <laughs> Um, Morna would have had a chance to uh, sort of slip away to finish a bit of business that we had like she'd alluded to earlier like in the that. day. So as the first rays of light start to trickle through the windows at Paramount, groggy morning thoughts are drawn back to the night before, where amidst the chaos of chasing down delinquent payments, there was an opportunity here and there to see to personal errands, a trip to Maze, a drink at the Chop House, and in one instance, a stroll up to the bluffs, where Morna made time for retrieving the items that she'd dropped off at Oslo's ornaments. Shit. Oh <laughs> my god! You feel like it's a good sign that when you arrive at his tent, he's both examining an object that is not your own, and he's seemingly free of injury, which as you already know, can drive up the identification costs. When he sees you coming, he gets up from his stool, and he steps briefly through the back flaps of his tent before re-emerging with kind of a two-handled tray. It's almost like you'd see a butler bring to someone who's requested a, a tea or something to eat. Mm -hmm. The tray is lined with cloth, and atop it sits the ring and the multi-tiered set of bracelets that you left in his possession. Not only elegantly displayed here, but cleaned and polished, so they no longer have those drop down a mine shaft layers of grime and filth on them. He takes the tray and he places it down and he takes from his pocket uh, like a small booklet that looks to contain some sort of notes or diagrams that he's taken. And he gestures to the stool that he was just sitting in for you to sit. Okay. S settle into it. <clears throat> Good afternoon. Good afternoon. It would seem that wilderness survival was the primary motivation behind the construction or acquisition of these items. The ring provides a safeguard against the most bitter cold. And the wristlets are designed to improve one's climbing capabilities by strengthening the grip. Both require attunement, some of time spent acclimating yourself to the feel and function. After wearing it for some time, the ring will start to feel uncomfortably warm, at which point your hand should be dipped briefly into cool water, repeating this process until the warm sensation subsides entirely which could take up to an hour. Now, making use of the wristlets involves an extensive program of stretching, flexing, pronating, <laughs> and supinating, so as not to overtax the muscles and tendons in your forearm and hand. Oh. I've included the notes with the recommended exercises, complete with basic diagrams to assist in your understanding. Ah, uh, thank you. So what is he, he has explained to you? is one of them is a ring of warmth. Oh, oh. Wow, that's okay. While wearing the ring, you have resistance to cold damage. And mm. in addition, basically you and everything you wear can't be harmed by low temperatures, like freezing temperatures, basically. Oh, that's awesome. And then the wristlets are called wristlets of clutching. Oh. You gain a bonus to strength, 
Athletics checks made on attempts to climb equal to your proficiency bonus. So a little proficiency bonus boost to climbing attempts, any sort of difficult climbs. Including that, there's also, there's more details, but it helps you maintain a grapple on a creature. It makes it harder for a creature Ooh. to escape a grapple. And it also makes it harder for you to be disarmed. So if you're holding an oh. item or a weapon and someone tries to disarm it, you have you know a bonus to That's that. That's very well. cool. So yeah, it sort of improves the muscles in the forearm and the hand. So cool in fact. So cool. <laughs> um, thank you kindly for this and for the explanation. Um, I'm terribly sorry to ask. I, I feel I've troubled you so much. Um, if I wanted the item to remain in, intact, but the magic to be destroyed, would that be possible? Or would the entire object have to be destroyed? Theoretically possible, I suppose. You might be better off just destroying the item and fashioning a similar item in shape and size. I, I see, but I, if, for instance, the item was a family Valuable. An heirloom. So, yes, that's, that's the word. <laughs> Sorry, that is the word I was looking for. Um, yes. It's I suppose it could be done. Okay. With difficulty. Do you wish it? No, uh, they aren't mine. Um, thank you, though. I do appreciate it. Just, to, just to, for my theoretical. Okay, uh... If you wish to give it to someone, but not have access to the magical capabilities, you could simply not explain the way in which, in which one attunes to it. Or explain it incorrectly. Thank you. That is very helpful. Is there anything else that I can provide for you at this time? No, um... Thank you, kindly. Of course. Have a good rest of your evening. Good evening. She's gonna go, go out. Was there anything else you were looking to accomplish or anybody looking to accomplish in that sort of night before, just uh, as you were running here, then we bounced over to uh, I would just say uh, maybe still keeping an eye out for people that I recognize as being from Izzy's, just. If... Like as if they're following you or something? Yes. Yeah, give me a uh, perception check. Okay. 23. Give me, give me three perception checks, actually, oh, yeah, okay. sort of over the course of. So 23, uh, 25, whoa, whoa. and 26. Wow. You better save some of these for one more. Uh, <laughs> these are just for me. These are just for DC, all right? don't start hot, you guys. I get something. Never start hot. You get it, you get it. Having spotted one of those people before, who it was difficult to tell if he was truly following you or just kind of asked to keep an eye, mm -hmm. there's a little bit of paranoia sometimes where you'll look over it and you'll like think someone's <laughs> looking at you only for them to sort of turn away or walk away and not be affiliated. A couple times it seems like you just recognize some people that may be couriers or people from Izzy's place of work, whether or not they're watching you or anything. A couple times you, during these errands that you're doing for the guild debts, you almost purposely take some circuitous routes or go down alleys, streets that maybe you wouldn't normally take that aren't as populated just to see if someone follows you. And to your knowledge, nobody does. Okay. Uh, it seemed like if someone's looking to keep an eye on you, they're doing so in a rather casual manner, not in a, I want that person followed and kept tabs on yeah. all the time kind of way. Okay. But that if you, you know, if you were to be around disease or that someone, the idea might be that someone said, hey, if you see that guy, keep an eye on him, yeah. but not or like- let me know where you saw yeah, him. Yeah, exactly. But okay. not like follow that guy and yeah. let me know where he is at right. all time. Uh, and I'd also like to continue as I have, I still had the cane at this point. <sighs> Um, continuing to use the cane fully, you know. Sure. Give me a performance check. I think that's what we had. Uh, performance. <laughs> Five. Five. <laughs> As it should be. Co a continuation of before, I think this is kind of the same, is, is that the balance between the actual injury and sort of yeah. faking it is, is a difficult one to maintain. Yep. Maybe when the leg like, heals a little more, you'll have a little better range of motion for that kind of deception. Yeah. All right, that's it for me. Anything else? Just passing things. I know we went to the chop house, but if there was anything else? No, just getting yeah, okay. drunk and going to bed. Oh my God, yeah. well. In that case, <laughs> we will turn it over. 
Once again to First Light, where a carriage has just crossed over the West End Aww. Bridge, carrying two wood elves on their way to Merlai. As if prompted by a shift in the balance of the party, Ilian and Doxley stir on the second floor of the hotel. Already a different feel to the day's beginning because you're not immediately consumed with thoughts about whether the statue from Bison's dig site made it back to town. That doesn't, of course, mean that you don't have a million other things on your mind, not the least of which being what was discovered underneath the well and how that may or may not tie in with Niall's hurried return to camp. With all of these things swirling about in your head, it's good to have the focus of the Goblin Raider camp on today's agenda, a very grounded search and rescue mission that utilizes the best of your physical gifts, balancing out all the theorizing and mysticism that's been sort of swirling about. Ace told you she'd be coming by early so you could get a quick start on your pursuit, but unless you chose to forego a full rest, as elves, you still have a little bit of time to get yourself prepared. You would have woken up well ahead of sort of the full resting types. Looking over each other from across the room, there's a long beat, a silent acknowledgement that every day that you wake up, you feel a little more removed from the comforts of your old lives in Slim Harbor. Just a very strange, long journey that feels longer every day and just a little piece of that life that was so routine, you'd wake up and you knew exactly where you were going, exactly what you were doing, exactly who you were supposed to talk to. And every day here, you wake up with that, who, what, where, where am I going? Who am I talking to? What are we looking to accomplish? So, two of you wake up. Again, it's the early hours, there's no businesses open or anything, so this is more for you time. Morning, sister. How are you doing? Good, rested. Um, Good. I suppose I should finally have time to tell you um, about. Did you? What did you want to know more about that prison job? Uh, I guess everything that you uh, have to tell me. The warden. We saw the warden. Talk, spoke with him. And from what it hears, what it sounds like, from what Morna got yesterday, that letter that's been postponed at least a day or two. That was what that that's, is. Yes. I should have figured that. Uh, no, it's okay. It's, I was confused too. I thought the warden was there to speak with us, being like, "Are you ready or not?" Yeah. Uh, but no, it sounds like that'll be pushed back a day or two. All right, well, that's good. Yeah. Gives us more time. I think I'm gonna do it. <laughs> um. Yeah. I think it's probably best we do. Yeah. If there's one thing that the yesterday I wasn't very happy about at first about the shaking people down to get debts collected for whatever, but it didn't end up being anything like that. It just reminded me of home. I but know. if there's one thing that it taught me is perhaps there's advantages and better things. We're going to be forced to do things we don't want to do anyway, so might as well take a look on the other side of the coin. So maybe we can something good can happen from this prison, you know? And that. Aside from the heaps of money that maybe we'll bring in, that'd be nice. You could look at it like that, Il, yeah. Yeah. You could also understand that it's a completely different environment and a different contract than what you were doing at home. And yeah. again, you do what you want and you set your own terms. Right. Uh, I need to ask your opinion on something, actually. Okay. Um, I don't know how much you know, but uh, Kate's... Probably even gone by now. Uh, she's left out of Brunk Hollow. To go where? Uh, back to her home, from what I assume. Uh, dealing with some family stuff. She left, left. Yeah, she said she'd probably be returning in the near future, but, you know, plans change quickly. And it's a big world out there. So Anyways. then we only have five people going to the goblin camp then? Yes. Me too. Oh, yeah. uh, the major thing I want to talk to you about is she left me uh, a note. Um, oh, um, she left you a note? She left me a note. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, it's not what the note say, Elf? It's actually pretty um, wild. Um, <laughs> what, what's wild about it? <laughs> don't, don't read me that. No, oh, no. not like that. There's pictures. <laughs> no, wait. <laughs> Series of it's, detailed no. drawings. <laughs> 
didn't talk. It's nothing like that. It's actually more on a serious matter. Um, oh. <coughs> there's, uh, uh, it turns out her mother, um, that was in town, I uh, knew something about religious, uh, she wrote it as imagery. Okay. And so she gave me info on that there's probably more statues around Broncolo. There are these giant creatures that these statues represent. Um, I can have you read through this because there's a lot of information. Um, but I'm just wondering your opinion on who we share this to. Because I, I trust our party, and it looks like Kate at least wants you and Morna to know, but TC wasn't mentioned. Uh, it doesn't say to explicitly keep TC out of the loop, but I just wanted your... <laughs> what is it? Can you read me that part specifically just so I hear it? Yeah. Just so I hear it. At the very end of everything, after everything she says, until we meet again, Kate, P.S., tell Morna and Doxley about the genies and the elementals and keep the girls safe, I know you will. There's no mention of TC at all in that, so... Oh my God. I don't know. If you had... <laughs> that man ever do to her? I have no idea. <laughs> I have never seem to get um, off on the right foot. That's funny. <sighs> um, that's very funny. I, I don't know. Do you... I just wanted to get your opinion on who and what we share, the, what pieces of this information we share and to whom. Because I trust, I trust our party, but I trust what you think more. I would, depending on what's in that letter, there is one thing I would maybe leave out with TC. Okay. Um, it is something I haven't shared with you either, but I think TC was instructed by an unknown party to try to ruin the statue. Huh. Uh, did, how do you know this? To, to what end do you know? Like... He was asked to apply some sort of a material that if it was hit with lightning, it would corrode the statue. Um... Wow. Uh, to the statue that we went and saw. To Bison's, yeah. Well, not, it's not Bison. The one that we found in Bison's. Um, so, I... That is to say, t you know, TC is sort of like us, where we're just hired hands, so I don't know if it's an actual alliance or if it's just something he was contracted to do, but take your temperature. Take his temperature. Well, perhaps there's one more thing I should share with you right now about this, knowing that information uh, in this letter. Kate was pretty sure that these genies, this Acephalus Four, which are these statues, from what I can gather, um... They all have a different element, and they call upon these big beasts. I, m I might be taking a leap, but from what I saw in that well, and from what made Morna perhaps have a heart attack, I saw a giant beast. All that being said, she then said, to what end would these beasts have been summoned? Uh, to fight back against the gods, to fight back against clerics, to fight back against whatever. Um, if that's what the beasts are there for. Um, I, I don't want to make any assumptions about anything, but if that's what Kate believes is important for those beasts, I just gets me, maybe I should find out a bit more about who TC's working for before anything. Because if they seem to know something about these statues and want it destroyed, I don't know, there's something I Weird have no there. indication if it's someone who actually has malice against the statue or just wanted to piss all over Bison and the town. Like, That's it could fair. be the clinkers or something as well. So I don't know. Or just see if TC was up to a task. Just uh, something. Okay. Well, uh, in the very least, I'll share that with Morna. Okay. And uh, maybe you can help me take TC's temperature and how much he should be. <laughs> can I, can I, is there anything dirty in that or can I read it? <laughs> Uh, no, there's nothing dirty. There's some, there's some personal bits, but uh, uh, I don't. Okay. Dude, if you want to read through, there's a lot of information that's. Yeah, important. I would. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> or if you want to, if you want to maybe write it down for me without all the personal stuff. I don't, I don't want to read that. that. It's, you know, you're my brother. Um, Take these three pages. <laughs> <laughs> three pages. Can you give me like an hour? <laughs> yeah, we have time. 
<laughs> all right. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah. Um. All right. It's fine. Uh, we'll talk about it later. Just <sighs> breathe it all in, okay. and then I'd love to hear your thoughts more further. If you have any new ones. All right. That's all. Yep. Duxley starts really <laughs> focused. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Kate has this kind of elegant uh, suburban handwriting, and Doxley's used to kind of chicken scratch. So she's <laughs> like going through letter by letter. It's so froofy. <laughs> froofy. Yeah. Oh. All right, and then I'll just hang out oh, and rest a bit more. Yeah. Any any other? I mean, re- just reading the note. Yeah. Any just just sort of ritual morning activities. Any ways to get yourself yeah. kind of ready? Yeah. Start. I, Get my armor ready and whatnot, but great. Yeah, just usual maintenance stuff. You take it out, check the straps. You know, anything, making sure there's no, you know, damage or indentations or anything. <clears throat> oh, actually, with the armor, what? does the um, the mithril, the flex weave, mm-hmm. yeah. does it <laughs> seem in any way like that it's debilitating now that it's proof. been used one or two times? It doesn't. It seems. Oh, I mean, certainly not. By n- it hasn't been that long that you've had it, so okay, it seems cool. still in very good condition. A little bit of time passes, and we go over to a little bit kind of up on the bluffs there, and experiencing a kind of sleep paralysis. You see over and over again the last look back that Nani gave you before she disappeared around the corner with that elven stranger. She had a kind of wry smile because she knew she was disobeying Bison's orders, and she gave a little upward nod of the head as if to say, thanks for the push. And with tense muscles and faltering speech, you want to reach out and stop her or tell her to wait, but nothing comes out of your mouth and you just have to watch her go. Your eyes spring open and you're looking up at the ceiling of a very small room with just one narrow window letting light spill in on the highest part of the south wall. Before you can do anything else, you take your hands and you just, with circular motions, massage your jaw until uh, you're able to unclench your teeth. It seemed like in your sleep, like you were locked up completely from head to toe. After you're able to relax the muscles a little bit, you sit up and you're on a very simple bed in this sparsely furnished space. It's the basement of a friend and fellow EOD employee, Mr. Dudley Welch. Last night, after scouring the area around the treasury in the state of a near frenzy, you think you caught sight of this court person slinking into the back storage shed of a property on the South Bank. But lacking backup and having just come face to face with the reality of this burgeoning brotherhood of thieves, you weren't sure what kind of danger you might be walking into if you continued that hunt. You came to Dudley's later that night looking for a cot to crash upon, and he was happy to oblige. And there's a moment that because of how little light the basement gets, you're startled by the thought that you might have overslept. But you go to the window and you look out, and it seems your mind and body have no intention of letting you off that easy because it's still quite early. Just enough time spent in sleep to gather your strength for the task of head. If people haven't already, a long rest has been completed. (laughs) So you're sitting here. Very simple base. It's an obvious, you're not, um, it's, he has, you know that he has like housemates and it's not, you're not in one of their rooms. They had a spare room in the basement in case someone was staying. So there's nothing kind of down here. There's a little unlit lamp over on a side table, little window on the wall. Otherwise, not much down here, but you have a moment to yourself. You can hear some, just some footsteps on the floorboards above you. People clearly awake. I think I, do my best to stretch, even though that sleep was a very restless sleep. Yeah. Um, and I want to get my affairs in order, knowing what's coming up today, and write a note for Dudley to pass on to Bison. Sure. Take out a piece of paper, a little bit of ink, a quill, you have those. Mm-hmm. And just without narrating the actual words, the contents of said note say? I can read it too. Oh, yes, please, yeah. please do. Um, so to Bison, I want to write, um, I have a lead on Nani. Heard she got grabbed and traded to some god- goblin raiders. I'm on my way down there with the team right now to get her back. The man who grabbed her is named Court. I almost had him, but he got away. Heard he's hiding by the South Bank, trying to get out of town. 
Also, watch out for a sickly looking elf with long hair pretending to be Ramo Klein. Mm -hmm. I think he's the one after your keys. In the quiet of the room here, again, just occasionally hearing footsteps above. Finish out the note. Put the quill away. Out the note. You can head upstairs whenever you're ready. Yeah, peek upstairs, see if yeah. Dudley's awake. As you head upstairs, as soon as you're walking up the stairs, there's a there's a door at the top of the staircase, but you can smell some notes of like ginger and mint wafting through the air, some kind of tea that's being prepared. When you crack the door open, you see your friend Dudley Welch, and he's preparing this sort of cup of tea here. He's a dwarven man, black hair, very starkly contrasting, his very uh, it's almost porcelain white skin. It looks like right now there's a bit of shine to his beard, like he might have dabbed some oils into it, preparing for the day. Morning, Dud. Uh, he does like a big stretch, sort of finishes pouring the tea, looks over and gives you a nod. As you look around the rooms after acknowledging him, you can see where there were several pairs of boots near the front door when you arrived last night. There's now only two pairs. It looks like his and yours. So possibly his housemates have already left for work at this point. You see that the kitchen's a little messy, a little disorganized, but it has a kind of charm to it. Dudley and his housemates are living a very different life here in Bronk Hollow than your more kind of solitary route that you've taken. You know, he has these roommates that he kind of lives with, they all come back here, there's a communal atmosphere that just never is really the same with your sort of simple tents that you usually partake in. Morning, nice. Tea? Yes, please. Thanks for letting me crash here again. No problem. Sorry to say, there's not much to eat in the house. It's fine. Others have already gone over to the chop house for breakfast. Yeah. You work long yesterday? Hmm, more the same. I mean, this statue business, huh? <laughs> Never ends. <laughs> he picked a good night to come by. Yeah? Spare bed's often claimed by Merwin's brother, yeah. who drinks like a bullywug and snores like an owlbear. <laughs> Where was he last night, then? <laughs> I don't know. Drunk in a ditch somewhere. <laughs> well... I got an early start, another long day. Um, would you mind doing me another favor? Yeah, sure. Could you uh, pass this along to Bison? I gotta get going to work and won't have time to see him. Just no rush, wait like an hour, whatever. Whenever you get over to EOD, hand it to him. That's fine. Um, you want me to give it to him right when I get there? You want me to wait? You can wait a little bit if you got stuff to do. It's nothing too important. Uh -huh. um, and then, would you mind just going and picking up a pack of ether cigs and drop them off at Maves. I'll pay you back at the end of the day. <laughs> just tell her they're for me. She do you a favor that you're getting back at now? Always. I just, I think she's so sweet. <laughs> and. Uh, you're the only one. What? I, see, I don't understand that. She's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get her the cigarette. <laughs> Thank you, Dudley. I'll pay you back at the end of the day, okay? I know you're good for it. All right. Not that I ain't, uh, happy to accommodate. But I suppose your appearance has something to do with, uh, this business involving the surveyors. The surveyors? What'd you hear about that? <laughs> well, I heard that Bruno got robbed in the downwheel, and I hear that Nani's missing. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah. What about, uh, old Pete? How's he doing, Peter? I understand him. Bison may as well be using him as a chair to sit in the way he's circling him. Would not want to trade places with him. I say that because uh, I know usually when you're in town, you, you stay at EOD. You... It's just been too crazy there with all the statue stuff. And I just, I mean, we're all pulling doubles there right now. I needed to not see the place that where I work 24 seven for once. I don't blame you. I'll get you a note device. Thanks. Anything All right. else you need? No. Best tea in town as always. Don't know how you do it. Stay safe out there, yeah? You too. Have a good one. You can hear him kind of pouring another cup of tea for himself as you... 
Close the door. You're up on the hill there. It's nice out today. This It's unseasonably warm for Brunkalo, which normally has kind of a cool air, even at the warmest of times. You look over to your left, you see the, the goblins that are, or not goblins, the gnomes over there. Like, oh. <laughs> the goblins that are it's killing all the gnomes. Roll initiative. <laughs> see the gnomes, they're sort of waking up, moving from their tent to tent. Look down the other way. A couple people that you recognize just moving along the path. Where are you headed? I think I'm um, heading to Wake these guys up if they're not up already. We are late. <laughs> Time to go. Yeah. <laughs> we'll bounce back to Paramount here for a second. <clears throat> and moving in the opposite, moving in opposite directions over the level of concern for your physical well-being. Mm. TC and Morna come too. TC's leg creeping back closer to 100% strength, <sighs> while Morna still feels like her heart isn't quite pumping with its customary zeal after yesterday's incident. There's no question that you'll need to summon every bit of courage you have for what's ahead. And for the both of you, there's also an added element of like a rematch when it comes to these particular goblins. One of these leaders watched <laughs> Morna unleash her chewing a lightning, and TC was hot on its trail while it fled on the back of a giant boar, yet still managed to escape and now has possibly warned its fellow raiders about adventurers that match your description. That and more promises to make this a memorable day, so it's time to lace up your boots and head a little deeper into the down wheel than you've ever gone before to both make good on your promises and hopefully collect the substantial collateral left behind at the Murk Hall. Do you ride? Yeah. Anything before you leave your rooms here? Healer's kit. Do a little uh, once over on my leg there. Make sure the bandages are nice and tight, like a very light splint there. Feel the leg. Aww. Almost finished there with yeah. the. Yeah, well, okay, so I'm at <laughs> three out of five. Two out of five would have gotten me some benefits on my DC, mm -hmm. on my saving rolls. Mm -hmm. But as of right now, I'm still uh, speed reduced by 10 feet. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but if at any point today you uh, take a healing you take a healing potion, yeah, you get the he benefits of the heal and some of that healing energy goes to the leg, so that would. <laughs> and he's gonna be taking damage on purpose. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, no! Trippy jumps and grabs you and hurt me. But yes, yeah. so. Feeling, yeah, feeling good. Very close. The, like, certainly feeling like even if you know it wasn't to happen sooner, you know, wake up next morning, you'd probably be feeling 100%. Um, if I took my broken pieces of cane with me, that's not something I could fix by myself. I'd have to. Uh, I mean, you could like take some bandages and like strap it up. Kit. It would look pretty janky, but it would work. It would work. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can, can I use like a, a use of the healer's yes. kit? Yeah. You can. <laughs> you basically will... take bandages. You wrap it. You, okay. There's some. Uh, there's some. In the healer's kit, it includes some like. Uh, almost like a plastery substance where you wet it and then you let it dry. So you can wrap right. it, wet okay. it, and then let it dry. And then it like, you know, it's yeah. not gonna be it as sturdy as- It might break easier yes, the next time. Than a regular cane, but yes, okay. it would hold um, for, for the purposes certainly of walking around and stuff. I hold. will do that okay. so that I still <laughs> have a cane. Using the water from the basin, you take a little cup and you pour it over and then you sort of put it by the window where the sunlight's coming in and mm -hmm. let it dry a little faster. Um, yeah. Honestly, the, the, the first thing today might be to go check in to see if there's any notes uh, downstairs for me to see if mm -hmm. anyone. Uh, Anything in your room before you head downstairs? I'm just gonna say a little prayer mm. and <laughs> I'm gonna open the window and I'm gonna light the chicken. I flint and see how I can make that happen. It comes on strong, but it, it it has the intended effect, which is that immediately as you start to puff, your mind just kind of wanders elsewhere. And a lot of the sort of stress was caused by, it was so easy to focus on it. Like yeah. you were constantly aware of it, even though it wasn't really causing you any um, debilitating discomfort. Like you were just like, it's just a nagging thing. Like it always just feels like a little pinch in your chest every time you kind of breathe in and out. and. So that kind of goes away. You find that you sort of let your mind wander and then a couple minutes pass and you realize that like you hadn't thought about it for a second there. Nice. 
I'm not gonna smoke the whole thing. I'm gonna save it, <laughs> sort of tap it out, and tuck it back. Twist the my, end of it there yeah, to keep it from. Tuck it back into my pack. And got a little J for later. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> I mean, and uh, yeah, I'll go down. I'm gonna make sure I put the bracer on and the ring oh on. Oh my god. Go like down. physically wearing both of them. So you're not attuned <laughs> to either of them no? yet. Okay, great. Just physically wearing them. And do you want to tell us what prayer you were saying? Just for... Uh... Um, yeah, I, I'm gonna, for flavor, um, I'm just gonna d- turn to face that not known mm. is the prayer I'm gonna... Wow, a lovely prayer. Say. Very beautiful. <laughs> I say it out loud to Bill and Barb because they like it when I say shit out loud. Sure. <laughs> is he familiar with this? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank God, the oh, prophet finally. <laughs> oh, you know? <laughs> I know what I'm gonna do with this one. So, Morna, it took a little longer there for a moment. I don't know, about the same. But you hear TC's doors open, and you hear some footsteps out in the hall. TC, as you're the first one out in the hall, sort of get out in the hallway, straighten your jacket, you get this cane, you put a little bit of weight on it just to make sure it's not going to kind of collapse there. It feels okay. And as you're doing that, you look over to your left, and it looks like the door to Kate's room is open. And in addition to that, you hear some feet shuffling and like a... How dare you enter a lady's room? <laughs> and as you push the Kenzo? door open, Kenzo is like gathered sheets up into a ball there. Were you invited into this room? Laundry. <laughs> I look around the room. It, it, it There's no belongings in the no room. Ah. Yeah. Uh, no, it's getting there. Uh, Watch the, me. The, uh, the tenant, uh, am I mistaken? The, the tenant. Uh... You have to talk to Mr. Clark. Okay. Sort of pushes by you with yeah. the. Uh, uh, me. Morna's gonna also knock <laughs> open her door. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, Ken. Everything okay? Uh, uh, go about your business. Excuse me. Yes? A vacancy. Kate's room. What? Kate's room is vacant. I'm gonna go and look. <laughs> it is indeed vacant. It seems like the sheets have been stripped from the bed. The only thing kind of left there is, he, as he mentioned, he was gonna change out the, the wash basin there, and that's it. So the have the authorities found out about our basement dealings? Shh, don't even mention it. Um, God. <laughs> oh God. Ma- maybe, maybe she said something to Ilian and Doxley. Maybe. Let's let's go. Let's yes. find out. Head downstairs. As you get to the second floor, another noticing the door to what was formerly Mrs. Mori and also Haskell Pips. Before that, that door is open as well and seems to have been cleared out. So another vacancy there. So you guys are at the top of the stairs on the second floor. Perhaps she escorted her mother out of town. Or took a residency in the Gnome Nook. Let's ask after. This is a great well property. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Awful the truth. Primo. Bought it out from under you. Yeah. <laughs> you get to the bottom of the stairs. Before we had left, while mm-hmm. Doxley was reading sure. these, um, you'll see Doxley like read the first time. Okay. And then a second time, she'll kind of sit up a little straighter and she'll play with her lips like she's really focusing on the letters. Oh. Yeah. Not a fucking word of this to anyone. Not Morna, not TC, nobody. Well, what changed from what I told you to now? Did I leave something really important out? What did you just- No, I'm just stupid and I didn't put anything to- Do you understand what this means? <laughs> I mean- Is that Bronk Hollow isn't just some magical place and it's embedded in the soil. It's it's this. You do understand that. I mean, I haven't seen what I saw in the well. I be- If this was brought to me out of nowhere, I would say it's the same as Yarpaya, where it's just some myth and maybe it's gotta be sought out, but with seeing the beast, I could- And you don't think that Ramo being in this, in this well and this creature I- appearing, you don't think that Yarpaya and these things are, are related? I don't know. I need to talk with him. I need to find a way. I think that's definitely a possible link. We already know that Morna is 
all kinds of confusing and complicated when it comes to literally everything that's in this note. I have no idea if she even wishes Broncolo to exist, honestly. I don't know. You think that even though Kate knew so much and said to share this info with at least Morna, you think that we should keep it to ourselves for now? I think it's easy to say share that information when you're not in the town committing crimes where clerics can just come and blow you up when this is fucked with. I'm not trying to say go back against a word to a friend, but this is very dangerous information and we have not known these people for even a week. I know. Okay. That is my opinion. Yeah. But think on it. How the fuck did she find all of this out? Her mother, through her mother. I don't- Fucking mothers. Okay, uh, I'll do a bit more digging. I need to go speak with Maeve, uh, cause apparently- Yeah, cause apparently you're doing work for her now. I don't, I'm just supposed to help in how I can. To get a weapon? <laughs> Was that in the part? Yes, that was in the part you gave me! Oh. Something about a huge weapon! Yeah. <laughs> I don't know much about that either, but I'm gonna talk with Maeve and see what... If there's anything left out that Maeve knows, or if Maeve knows something more about all this. Um... Okay. You don't think... It would be nice to have more allies than just you and I dealing with all this. Agreed. So you let me know when you trust them enough to share this. Because if it were up to me, I would take that leap now. All right, it's not only just about trust, Elian. This is also valuable. Mm -hmm. And I'm not trying to sound like a Goreonon shit stain. Yeah. I just mean there are allies out there. Ace could also be one of them, but we have to pick and choose the information we dole out. Just be safe with it. If someone's gonna die because of this information, then yeah, let them know maybe, but... Shit. All right, well, we'll test TC to see what we can learn from him, and then we'll gauge Morna and go from there. And maybe we'll learn something about Ace today. Oh fuck, I messed up with Ace so bad last night. I've got a bit of an idea for that as well. Okay. We'll see how it goes. She's got a good head. She'll see reason. Yeah, I'll give her a decent apology. I'm sure if it's you, you're gonna be on your knees begging her for forgiveness. So. Uh, do Doc, I have, I'll just say that I was, it was selfish of me. If I flipped our roles, I would have done the exact same thing. If someone took someone I cared about, I would have done the exact same thing. It's hypocritical of me and I was the short-sighted one. So I'll just let her know that and hopefully that'll smooth things over. All right, shall we get some food? Not on my knees. I'll just say it nicely. Okay. All right. So you guys would have headed downstairs, yeah. just gotten something to eat yeah. for breakfast. When you said you wanted to see Mae, was that during this time, kind of before everybody wakes up? Uh, no, but just before we headed out today, like to give a jaunt over. You guys take a moment, have some breakfast. You're the first ones in the kitchen there, and Kenzo, who looked like he was kind of going up and down the stairs a little bit, you see him carrying some sheets from the second floor at one point, you see him carrying a wash basin. But he does go back into the kitchen, gets you a cup of coffee at least to start, even before he starts making food. A little later, some people have kind of come and gone, you start to hear the footsteps coming down of TC and Morna. In addition to that, a few people are in here like they were yesterday that seem to be not regulars of the hotel, like they'll come in and sit and like look outdoors mostly. So it seems like there's definitely some people who didn't get a chance to see the statue yesterday who are now looking for their turn to go, but it's not nearly the kind of frenzy that it was yesterday of everyone trying to see it at the same time. So mm -hmm. that process still very much ongoing, not a resolved issue, but not so many. There's plenty of seats left in here. You guys come on downstairs. Good morning. Uh, Where's Kate? Kate has checked out. Yeah. Um. Yeah? Did she say goodbye? Uh, she left me a note. What uh, does the note say? I'm not, I'm not, sorry. Filth. <laughs> no, this it's is, filth. I don't actually have this on. I didn't, I didn't mean to grab it. Ilian yeah, she left me a note. note. <laughs> uh, read these three pages. Yeah. No, uh, Ilian did not grab the really note. Strong. That was talent. <clears throat> uh, she left me a note uh, saying that she was 
leaving back to Sewa. God! She needs to help family with her mother. Help family with her mother? That just doesn't sound like her. She was so in love with all things Brunk Hollow. She did say she'd be returning as soon as possible, so hopefully it's she can get the urgent business done and then she'll be right back. Well, I shall miss her sharp knuckles this day. Yeah. And her eagerness, all the others. Dams. It's abrupt. I know we did not go to always get along, but I am surprised she didn't say goodbye. I respect it. I suppose I'm not surprised. Okay. So, looking forward to our day. We have to go and <laughs> defeat this entire Goblin Raider camp. Yes. I'm hoping Ace might have a little more information on mm. where it is mm. and if yes. there's more than one camp. We know a general direction, I believe, but yes, it, 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 I didn't think to ask at the Merc Hall whether there was anyone who had recently taken them on that has more info. But also now that we're down a man, mm. what resources do we actually have? Because this is going to be a hairy one. Before sort of getting into the discussion of that, you do see Ace sort of come into the lobby of the Paramount there. He's, Good morning, Ace. Morning. Welcome back. Thanks. I'm going to very quickly to Doxley in Elvish. Yeah, you can. She's over in the lobby. Say, there. Doxley, I cannot give you these magical items just yet. I need them in case I need to do something today, and Ace is present. Do you understand? In Elvish. <laughs> oh shit, you speak Elvish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Morna, I was actually going to express a similar concern where unless you see goblins casting a fuck ton of magic, you do not unleash I'm gonna keep it under control. I got it. Yeah. Why the fuck are you all talking about magic? Or not. What the fuck? You speak Elvish too? Yes, I <laughs> fucking do. <laughs> do I speak Elvish? <laughs> you and Clemens are exchanging this in the lot. I don't know if you do. Do you speak A lot of people okay. speak Elvish. <laughs> I speak Elvish. It's true. Wow, it's an Elvish party. <laughs> Amazing. It certainly is. Is there someone you're looking for? Mom. Uh, here for those guys down there. <laughs> She's gonna very quickly say it one yep. more time, still Elvish, why not? Uh, do we understand each other, Doxley? I'm honestly a little, I forgot what you said. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, good morning. Morning. Good morning, guys. Morning. <clears throat> so she really did leave. She said she was, she told you? <sighs> what? Your friend, she told me last night she was leaving. Fuck off, no, she did not. Yeah. <sighs> she says goodbye to Ace. <laughs> sure. Okay. Chopped liver. Just like the breakfast. <laughs> Seems like she had some personal business to do. We had a nice little exchange and I we said some nice words and then she left. I wasn't sure if she was gonna follow through, but looks like it. Well So it's us five. For the goblins. All right. Unless you had anyone else you were thinking of bringing along for reinforcements. This needs to be quick and quiet. That young man that came on the wagon with us five days ago, he had a lot of spirit in him. Wes. Wes? Wes? Yeah. No. Wes is not coming. All right. Ace is like, oh, who's this Wes? <laughs> <laughs> He's a 10-year-old. You, you got a big, big, muscly friend. All right. No, he is a no. child. He will not be coming. Why are y'all talking to children? Uh, Perhaps Mr. We shared a wagon with him. Yeah, I don't know why. Um, he did show his ass cheeks. All right, so we need to <laughs> sort of understand what everybody's got in their Have bag more of tricks coffees. today. Um, we really got to be heading out soon. Yes. Yeah, yes. So if, if we want to so. track, well, actually, no, we need to talk about what equipment we have before we leave town in case we need to get something. So I've got some smoke sticks. I've got an acid vial. I've only got one healing potion. Oof. I have an antitoxin. I've got a flask of oil and a smoke stick. You gonna cook for them? No, but I typically keep something a little more incendiary on me to go with the flask. Okay. I have a vial of deep gnome blood. Can be used the last time the goblins threw magic at us. It can be used to suppress 
magical effects. All right. So willing Weird. to. I also have one um, healing potion. Mm. Good. I haven't got any of those. Two. You, you've certainly heard that. So deep gnomes are known for having like re- their blood in their blood is sort of resistance to magic. So mm-hmm. you can. It's rather crude and sometimes frowned upon, but one can drink a concoction of deep gnome blood to uh, assist in the resistance of magic. Yeah, it's a little grim, but people do do it on occasion. So y'all have been able to last in Brunk Hollow with a jar of oil and like two healing potions for almost a week. I believe our resources are depleted because we're so active and efficient. That's and true, yeah. Succeed almost always. All right, respect. Always, well, always, 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 always. I've got a healing potion, a healing potion, an elixir of health, caltrops, a smoke stick, elixir of the vi- viciousness, and an antitoxin. I'm set. Great, wow. You can take the lead. Fuck. I think we'll be fine. All right. Great. So anyone want to do any last minute shopping? I know there's very With little gold. What? Yeah. Um, anyone, is there anything else? Anyone that, is there anyone that would know more about this area we're going to? Or maybe we could go to the Merc Hall as was said that maybe someone's tried to take this mission before. Just thinking, I'm just throwing things at the wall. Not a bad idea. You also, like, you're aware that this contract has existed for a while, so they might have information there that is, you know, Kate also had a relationship with Daphne and she might have had some info, but she's obviously gone and <laughs> she didn't include that in the note, so possibly, <laughs> possibly something to be learned there. You didn't get any more info when you took the job? We gave them all our money. I was then... very focused on helping you find your friend, and that is what okay. I... All right, was... then how about on our way out, we stop at the Merc Hall, it's... On our way out. South, yes. Anyway. Sort of. What? What about Nile? But you know, Nile, he's out and about. He made a stop there. Something tells me Nile's got his hands full at the moment. Okay. We can do one stop. (sighs) All right, one stop. Then it would be the Mark Hall problem. Mark Hall. Let's let's consult there. We're heading southeast. All right. Great. Let's go. Off we go. Guys, get out. I'm a little bit of coin. Try to, I'll let you guys, I need to split <laughs> off from you briefly to, I might go to Maeve's, but I'll meet you at the Merc Hall directly after. It'll be very quick. You also have to pass by Maeve's to get across the bridge. So, you're so I'm just heading gonna take a small there. errand, but then I'll meet back up with you guys. Quick feet. Yes, I will be right back with you guys. Go. Cool. Come. You guys get up. Leave, Clemens sort of gives you a tip. Be well. Mm. Enjoy the weather. Oh, uh, nothing for me. Uh, no notes or no mail. Uh, no. Uh, all right. Are you expecting something at a certain time? No. Nah, well, as you can see, my cane is uh, uh, seen better days, and yeah. I had had an offer to possibly borrow by another's. So uh, nothing yet, okay. but I will. Uh, I will make sure all that right. you hear about it. Thank you. Does TC have four gold for him? Uh, yeah, what we, so who did you leave that for? TC and, Just TC and, and, and Morna. Okay, so uh, yeah, he, he's uh, left behind for you. Oh, huzzah. Cool. <laughs> From? Um, he sort of looks over. Uh, m- Mr. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yes. Tyrone. Thank you. <laughs> I wasn't sure if that was a private affair. I, it ended up fine, I think. <laughs> yeah, yes. thanks, thanks, Clements. My cup runneth over. Thank you both. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Weather looks to be holding. Uh, happy to say, enjoy the day. Thank you. Before Ilian runs off, Morna's gonna quietly just say to him, by the way, Mr. Chairman, you can only wield two weapons at one time. Yeah. Because you have two hands. I have a great sword. And if you, unless you hold one with your teeth, you would only have two. Well, yes, which, put a dagger in the teeth and you have some, okay. I, I'll probably only, it doesn't matter. I just cut like swapping it between. All right, cool, whatever. <laughs> As a group, you kind of move in the direction of that sort of, um, southeastern end bridge that goes across the river. As you do so, Ilian just kind of hangs back, lets you guys, sort of gives you a wave as you go. As you stop there, sort of peel off, take a couple steps in the direction of Maeve's place. Windows are dark, something lit on the interior. You look for signs of blue smoke. You look for any signs of her on the riverbank where you know she's been working on the water wheel. No signs of Maeve at all. Do like a quick rap on the door uh, Maeve, it's it's Ilian. If you're in, and it's urgent, I don't get a response at all. Give me a perception check as well. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, 
perception 15? 15. I don't know if it's you or someone else, but someone had gone here before and knocked on the door and even though she didn't answer, you could hear like footsteps or shuffling around inside. It might've been TC. But as you listen to the door for a moment, you kind of try not to do so suspiciously, <laughs> but you listen and no sounds at all. No sounds of footsteps, oh. no sounds of furniture moving, clinking of glasses, nothing of that. It seems empty or no snoring, nothing. Like it's <laughs> silent, so. Uh, um. <sighs> Sorry, Kate. I gotta. I gotta go. I'm gonna head back to the Merc Hall. Right. Start to head. So the rest of the group had gone ahead just a little bit there. And if not for the noticeable lack of blood, you would think that upon entering the Merc Hall that a massacre had taken place here. <laughs> Broken bottles and empty bowls oh. litter the floor. <laughs> There are people lying on tables and slumped over in chairs, and cold porridge is stuck to every surface from here to the back wall. <laughs> There's a portrait of a young man hanging askew over a dozen or more candles that have melted all the way down to a nub. You see Daphne, and she's standing, well, she's kind of <laughs> leaning at her counter behind the cage, and you can see her chest rising and falling, but she has her head kind of in her hands, and you can see her breathing heavy. And judging by the blank pieces of paper in front of her, she looked like she was making very little progress sort of on whatever records that she might be trying to organize. It looks like a celebration took place here that lasted well into the night. And the occupants are now paying the price for their <laughs> indulgence. As you kind of walk by someone kind of <clears throat> pukes onto the floor next to you. And it seems to be a road that many have gone down and will go down again, but the whole place sort of in a little hazy state of hang hungover haze as you walk through here. And Daphne doesn't even see you enter. She's got her head kind of in her hand. TC uses his cane to like, somebody who's got their feet up on something, <laughs> TC uses his cane to like push <laughs> the, the sodden feet out of the way. Like, <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> Make my way over to the window. You take the lead up there into the window. Great, you're all there, the four mm -hmm. of you, with the exception of Ilian not quite there yet. But... Good morning. I wanted to do it gently. <sighs> Thank you. Sorry for the mess. Had to say a couple of goodbyes last night. Oh. And goodbyes pair well with wine and liquor. Oh. She sort of, with two hands, reaches over for a little <laughs> bowl of water that she has. Mm. Well, did you find what you were looking for last night? Um, yes. Remains to be seen whether uh, we will come to the fullest of fruitions that we hope for. Hey, Ace. Hey, Daph. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Um, what can I help you with? We're doing that goblin job today. She looks around and immediately, even in her sort of hungover state, perks up just a little bit. She doesn't sort of spring too, but as promised. I am glad to hear it. Came by to see if there's any last bits of information you might have. I was in a hurry yesterday and uh, any, the most recent attempts that were made, any info. Of course, uh, Kate didn't get, tell you anything on the way out, did she? No. She didn't say anything on the way out. Oh, it's her business, I suppose. Anyone who goes after those mundines has my blessing. Look, uh, there's not much information on the camp itself, but the way itself has been charted. So here's what we've got. Halfway between Bronk Hollow and Fort Contrition, you're gonna turn due south. There's a little crossing that's fashioned over the widest part of the creek. And then you'll be following a distributary downriver. That's a little river that breaks off of the main creek. The river's gonna go south and it's gonna start to braid. It's gonna break up into a bunch of little streams. You'll need to wade through the mud because it's gonna start curving west and you'll wanna keep heading south. Uh, in the distance, if the weather holds and sort of looks outside. It looks all right for the time being. You'll be able to see Brake's Peak way, way in the distance. You use that as a guide for the direction that you should be heading. 
Eventually you'll hit a ravine that's running east-west through the downwheel. Now, you don't need to cross it, but you're gonna take a left there. Follow the ravine for a while, and the hills will start to roll. She motions kind of up and down, and her own motioning of her hand is like <laughs> making her a little sick. Poor girl. That's when you should start to keep your wits about you. Even more so than usual, those hills are raider territory. The exact location of the camp might require a little bit of reconnaissance to figure out where it is. I'd say your best bet is probably try and find some goblins that are out hunting or foraging. If you can stay unseen, you can follow them back to their base. As far as advice goes, um, and remember it's two raider captains that we're looking to dispatch. Now you do that, you create a kind of power vacuum that should cause considerable chaos among the followers. That should greatly reduce the frequency and ferocity of their attacks around Brunkolo. Now traps and trained animals, those are a goblin's bread and butter. Mm. Expect, expect plenty of both. The reason ain't their long suit, so I wouldn't bother trying that. For any packs that you run into before you get to the camp, you better negotiate in trade or using the sharp end of a sword because they won't see reason. If your approach goes, goes unnoticed, some time spent ca excuse me, take your time. If your approach goes unnoticed, some time spent scouting would not go amiss. Goblin structures are typically flimsy, so look for some watchtowers you might be able to torch or topple. We've also heard that goblins in the area are doing a lot of digging. So if you see them scurry into a mine shaft, maybe you could collapse the entrance, thin their numbers a little bit. I wish I had more for you, but that's about it. She has a page that she takes out, and she had some other advice, but the general directions she has kind of listed here. Halfway down to Tension Pass, you turn south, use the crossing. When the river starts to braid, you wade through the shallow, muddy waters. You look for Breaks Peak in the distance, use that as a guide, head in that direction. Arrive at a ravine, turn left and follow it east. You see the rolling hills indicating goblin territory, raider bases somewhere in this area, and then it recommends, you know, finding a goblin, or if you can't find a goblin, or if they spot you, using at least their tracks or something to uh, to track them back to the main base of operations. So the, the, the contract and her impression is you don't need to kill every goblin you see, although that's an option, but to certainly dispatch the two leaders so that the there's a little bit of a, some chaos and a power vacuum with the goblins all trying to vie for power after that happens. As someone who's not terribly familiar with the southern territory of the Cusp, where does Breaks Peak land in that regard? Oh, Breaks Peak is well past the Cusp. That's why they call it that. Uh, it's a reference to an old uh, hymn. Break ye. Don't know it. It's not important. The point is, if you reach Breaks Peak, you've gone too fucking far. How many miles are we talking, exactly? Do you know? To the peak or to the goblin camp? To the goblin camp. I'd say the journey will probably take you three, four hours. Very well. We better get going. Thank you kindly. Good hunting. Hope you bring us back some heads. More right. than a couple people around here would be grateful for it. Let's get them. Get some rest. See you, Dad. Thanks. Uh... <clears throat> Ace. What? Could I speak with Ace for a moment? Oh, yeah, yes. sure. Yeah. Of course. Get out. <laughs> Step back. And yeah, start to head back. And Ilian kind of arrives at the, the, like as they're walking so away from the back. counter there. I didn't catch it. <laughs> a little duff in the suit. What's up? I just have to say, Ace, um, I know we're not close, but I'm surprised to find you stopping by about this. Bison's expungers are rarely hurting for work or coin. And you in particular haven't come by the Merc Hall at asking after contracts since you first got to camp, so why this one? Not in it for the coin. I'm um, helping, helping Bison out a little bit. I mean, Goblin's digging around. That's kind of his territory, so. If 
thought I'd hop on this, check out what they're doing, and um, get them out of there, you know? Seems like they're taking up more and more territory, and that's sort of getting into Bison's work, so. Give me a persuasion check. Mm. Ooh! Damn. Mm. Okay. Not deception. Persuasion, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it wasn't an outright lie. It was a little omission, okay. but... Uh, okay. We'll you can take the one that you're more proficient in or more or better in if you prefer, but uh... no persuasion's better. <laughs> uh, twenty-two. Nice, nice. Okay. Glad Bison's finally on board. Go get him. Have a good one. Be back with some heads. I hope so. She sort of closes her book. You turn around. So the alien has just arrived as you guys are sort of coming back from the counter there. <laughs> He steps out, like, really clenched. Like, oh my god, I can't believe that worked. All right, off we go. Aliens have been breeding. There's now five goblin leaders. No, stop. Give him. Perhaps we need to get more. Just give him the sheet. Stop. Maybe we need Wes after all. <laughs> <laughs> it's just directions. Oh, okay. Still so two leaders. Still, everything is as expected. Oh, I think we are to expect the unexpected. Okay, okay, great. Yeah, while we're walking, I'll relay. All mm-hmm. Yeah, stuff. yeah. We can do so. All right. Let's do it. To depart. Yep. Uh, All right. You start to head out toward Detention Pass. The long awaited journey toward the Goblin Raider camp begins. And as many other dips into the downwheel do, it begins with a stroll through Detention Pass. <laughs> The trail markers along the road serve as very convenient jumping off points for various treks toward well-known routes and landmarks. You've already seen a bunch of these already, being told sort of where it splits off, some trails more traveled than others. This is no exception here, although the halfway mark between these two places is used most frequently by the clinkers as a way to know when their patrol route ends. Like they'll wander up to the sort of halfway mark and turn around and head back. And you've seen them kind of moving back and forth along the pass here. Before you even get that far, however, It's Morna who notices a rustling in the bushes. And a very slender pair of greenish ears poke (laughs) out from the (laughs) underbrush. The goblin known as Clark Bark. Oh my god. Making very pointed eye contact with you before disappearing back into the shrubbery from whence he came. And there's a circular object strapped to his back that looks like a considerable upgrade from the shoddy defenses donned by most goblins, evidently keeping the shield you gifted him for himself and not giving that to someone else. (laughs) Very crafty as they can be, Clark Bark picked his moment very carefully. It seemed like you were kind of in the back and most of the group had walked forward and then he (laughs) sort of popped up and then disappeared. So you glance around a little bit, but you're reasonably sure that none of your companions saw him protrude there from the bushes. <laughs> Though they would notice if you sort of peeled off and sort of left, but um, you may need an excuse, but you're, you're able to see that he's sort of waiting in the bushes there off by the paths. He has walking along. Sorry, I gotta take a leak. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I, knew, I knew you knew it. Knew we it. made eye contact yeah. and you were like, I know I'm gonna. I know what you did. I'm gonna, I gotta <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna seem like it's urgent and sort of. <laughs> Give Are me a good? deception check. Um, <laughs> Ooh. Well, she just had a yeah. attack. Does that seem true? Um, that minus, but I, it's still a 17. 17. Oh, she's Ooh. Yes, she was. Yeah. I got a pin. As soon as you turn, there's like almost a kind of quiet groan, like you just left town and you already have to kind of Sorry. stop to take a piss. But... I said try to go before we <laughs> leave. Sorry. We're not waiting up. <laughs> I'll catch so up, I'll catch up. They start to walk forward. Yeah, that's fine. Sort of I'm fast, I'll catch up. <laughs> and I'll go. Head of the bushes there, you sort of piss, girl. give piss. a look around, sort of duck behind a tree, you weren't sure exactly where he disappeared into, and then, pff, once again, sort of popping uh. out. Hi. Hi. <laughs> it's me, Bark Bark. Yes, I remember. It's me, Morna. After speaking with my many, many contacts, <laughs> of which I have many to choose from. I love him. Sure, I love him. <laughs> I have learned the location of Haskell Pips. <gasps> Thank you. That is very uh, studious of you. He is in. And he has like a little scrawled <gasps> note. He tells you, but he has a little scrawled note as well. He is in the M enclosure oh my God. within the Nightingale Ward, which is the northmost block of south. Wow. wow. 
Clark. That's great information. Clark. Poor Clint Clutch. Yeah, Clark Clark's crazy. Now, you don't know what an M enclosure is, necessarily, but also the, the wards, uh, they're named, the, the sort of different wards are named, and he also has scrawled on this the names of the other wards. They're well known to people who at least okay. have sort of been around the prison. They all have, um, they're each, they're bird, they sort of have a bird code names and each of them, the first letter corresponds to the direction. So for example, the Nightingale and North Ward, the Eagle Ward is the East Ward, and this, I'll give this to you. The Sparrow Ward is the South Ward, the Wren Ward is the West Ward, and then in addition to those four, there's a, not Cardinal, not Direct Cardinal, there's the Short Wing Ward, which is the uh, Southwest Ward. So there's five total. Okay. Um, so he's in the Nightingale Ward and the M Enclosure. M Enclosure, wow. Now, you also asked about the guards. I did, yes. But the guards rotate. It's yeah. not always the same guards. That's good to know, though. But I got the names of the officers in charge <gasps> of the Nightingale Ward. Wow. wow. What? Officer Watkins. Watkins. And Officer Emberstrad. And that's all here as well. Oh. That's all the information he provides there. The names of the wards, the M enclosure, and the two names of the officers who are apparently sort of in charge of the Nightingale Ward there. You have done very well. Oh shit. <laughs> I am on some errands right now to kill the captains of the goblins who have been raiding you. Hmm. That sounds very dangerous. And also, maybe, stupid. Oh my god. <laughs> it might be, but my friends are skilled fighters and I can get you weapons from both the goblins that we kill and afterwards. Well, I can tell you the location right now. Of I would like the to know that in case you die. Great. Uh, and I will tell him the location of the mine shaft. Okay, the bison mine shaft yes. there. Uh, yeah, that had a. Uh, yeah. It's on like C here on the or map or something mm, like that. It's called like the. Uh, no. no, it's not C. The one with the pickaxes in it? Yes. yes. The civil oh, shaft. Well, those civil shaft number six. Yeah, yeah. 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 civil shaft. I'll tell him the location oh, of civil wait, shaft yeah, number six. Yeah, yeah. As a yeah, warning. Yeah, that there will be a guard station there. Last time there was only one, easy to sneak by, but I think there may be more. Hmm. So be very careful. I would suggest if you wish to get the weapons inside, uh, crossbows or something to pick the guards off. Okay. You said <laughs> if you make it back alive, that you would help. I would try, yes. Okay. But if I don't, you have the location. I accept. I also suggest that you might want to send some folks to follow us and you will find many Hilford Goblin weapons. I will also try to put them aside in a stash if I can. Why not? <laughs> that is very generous. I accept. If you need arrows or something. I do. <laughs> If you give me gold, I can buy them for you. I can't get them for free. You have to pay for them, but. How many can you get? We can start small so as to not garner suspicion. But if you have gold for it, then I will buy it. And I can put them in a drop location for you. I would like to not give you the gold now in case you die. I think <laughs> that is very wise. But if you come back, I'll have gold for you. Sounds good. Okay. Thank you. If you can gather any more information, I you will be rewarded. But um, you've done very well. Thank you. Thanks for the sword. You're welcome. <laughs> he disappears kind of just quickly. He didn't even really see you stick your hand out. He just kind of vanishes into the bushes there. Thanks, Larbrook. Um, wow. Cool. Yeah, holding something in your hands that's a little more concrete Whoa, than you've ever had before. I'm just gonna tuck it in her <laughs> boobs and boobs. And, um, she's gonna, <laughs> she's oh, like, oh, I wanna have a little toke, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I go. She comes out of the bushes, <laughs> good pig. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> it's like no other. Dummy. Yep, okay, there we go. Right. And you kind of jog, jog to catch up, up after to the them. group. Yeah. So a little, a little moment here, kind of just as you're walking along, detention pass. While we were walking. Yes, without more than a present. Yeah, can I have a moment with Ace? <laughs> sure, absolutely. As we're walking. Mandy. Someone with a name like Ace strikes me as a person that enjoys a good bet. 
Do you enjoy a good bet, Ace? Well, now I'm listening. What you got? I bet you that when we investigate this goblin camp, we find a statue. What kind of statue? Very similar to the one that we got out of Bison's. That would be very interesting now, would it? Yeah. What's your interest in statues? If I'm right, you recount your statement to the Thieves' Guild that Ilian killed someone, because I know he didn't. And when I'm right, you can let me know how ambitious you are about being in Broncolo and your position in it, because I have a feeling Bison is about to get dated in his powers here. I'll take you up on that bet. All right. Mostly because it just sounds mighty interesting. We've got a deal. Warm. Um, as we're walking, I just kind of want to do a general check for any uh, pet birds that might be flying and following <laughs> us. <laughs> the shit we have to be paranoid about. Yeah. Give me a perception. Bird! Um, <laughs> Matt loves playing birds. Does. <laughs> Any opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> Balk. That's a three. Three. I mean, it, it, you don't see anything yourself. You would know from having um, gone along the Recluse River um, in the direction of tracking down shark bait to begin with. There are some people with you that are you found to be very good spotters. Actually, one of them is no longer here, but... Um, so if you wanted to communicate that worry to someone, you know, the group could keep an eye out, but uh, one pair of eyes, tough just from the expansiveness of the force. There's just a lot to keep an eye on all at once. I mean, it... <laughs> Y'all remember that shithead we uh, saw by the river the other day with his stupid birds? Mm. Uh, I, yes. I just want to make sure the big one isn't following us. No one should be following us, but just yes. if you see a big bird, let I me believe know. it was after me. Did anyone else feel like it got a good look at them as we were leaving there? I don't know. know. He's, he's, just, he's a sneaky little guy. <laughs> he's stupid birds. Yeah. And I just want to make sure he's I, not following us. I found it would be very helpful. He's a sneaky little oh, guy. Right. <laughs> all, right. all right. I'll, I'll keep an eye out. All right. All right. All right. All right. Sure. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> When we break off detention pass, we'll make a few uh, reception checks. Morna, you've caught up to the party at this point. Hi. Sorry. Hi. Everything come out all right. Good piss. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> they just jump on you. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, Ace, actions speak louder than words. Uh, but I just wanted to say, last night, I apologize for calling you short-sighted. It was, act it was me. That was short-sighted. Um, this nani uh, seems very important to you. And if someone important to me was taken, I would have beat the shit out of someone and been terribly angry at who stood in the way. Um, so I'm sure my words don't hit very hard now, but by the end of the day, I hope my actions prove I will help protect you and everyone else and we will get nani back. And I will try to make up for it. You're right, I, I did not appreciate what you did last night. Fair. But I can appreciate a man who knows when he's done wrong and who sticks to his word. So thank you. Of course, I can do that. We, we all heard that, I imagine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was out in the open. Yeah. We shall relish. It's still kind of awkward, but I will walk next to you now. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Small steps. I'm sure we will all relish your thick armor and thick skull both. <laughs> all right, I'll take that as a compliment. A little more walking. <laughs> Up ahead, you spot a little signpost that you've seen in passing before. Ace, you've seen it several times, but the rest of you, when you were returning from your trip across that clinker bridge that was ambushed, because that was kind of past the halfway mark, 
It has the words Brunk Hollow and Fort Contrition on opposite ends of a very narrow rectangular board. It's gonna spin it. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a very thick line drawn right down the middle, indicating that this is indeed the midway point between those two settlements. It's here that you say farewell to the frequent foot traffic and you head south into the forest. Though notably off to the right between the trees, you'll occasionally catch sight of an armed sentry on horseback. Patrols that Bison has set up to make sure that no one sneaks around and gets to the statue without going through the proper channel. Not a clinker, but a buzz. Yes, a bison. And not on Detention Pass itself, but in the woods, so ah. that someone doesn't try to kind of okay. sneak around, because that uh, statue's kind of by the river there. So one could theoretically maneuver through the woods to get there, but uh, so wow. keeping a very careful eye to make sure that nobody sneaks closer to it without his knowing it. You're not sure how long that level of vigilance will last, but until the buzz has somewhat subsided, there's likely going to be people maintaining a very watchful perimeter of this area. Everybody give me those perception checks, kind of keeping an eye out at Ace's best. 20 points. Whoa! Oh. Whoa. 14. 7. 16. 16. 16. 18. And TC, having been the one who was there the first time, <laughs> and having gotten, you had kind of you did feel like shark bait was reasonably helpful, so that incident kind of went to the back of your mind. It wasn't sort of on the forefront, but now that Ace has reminded you, looking up at one point, you oh, see kind of a no fucking uh, way. Wow. And one of the branches just sort of bends, and you stop for a moment, look back, and you just see, and a little bit of like antlers that cause some leaves to fall as they brush against the branches, and then. And it kind of disappears. You lose sight of it. You catch sight of it for the briefest moment and then disappears. Uh, <sighs> What's it called again? A peritin. A peritin. P-E-R-Y-T-O-N. 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 Peritin. Oh dear. What'd you see? She's here sneezing going, oh dear, oh dear. You got pissed as well? Oh, it's, um, it's my secret. I... <laughs> you always have to piss. <laughs> What's your I believe, unless I'm very much mistaken, I have spotted our winged friend once again. Oh, really? And I'll give, like, just a... In that direction. You don't you don't see it exactly, but, you know, there's movement in the trees in general, because there's smaller birds. Uh, uh, re stands to reason that, again, I was its quarry before, uh, uh, although you are now all with me. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to make of that. It's probably just following your scent. Maybe. You do wear a lot of it. Mm. Like to leave an impression. I mean, it's not so bad if this thing follows us, right? It's not like what we're doing is secret. I took on a mission. Right. No. We need... We gotta be back quick. I have set up a very delicate and very short timeline for us to do this, to stay under the radar of Bison and still be in his good graces. It's like hours away. God. I, I gave us okay. a few hours. Okay. But if that... Bird goes back and people find out where we are going before I am ready for them to find out where we are going. Our timeline gets a lot shorter. Would somebody try to come and stop us? Sharkbait might. Can Sharkbait talk to this bird? Can this bird talk? They got, it they got a weird, see, I don't like him. <laughs> he's got this weird connection with birds. As Just far as like, you know, he can't actually communicate with them, but he's a good animal trick. I've seen it, I've seen it. <laughs> okay. It's, as far as you know, he can't. He can speak <laughs> to the bird. I, I will I've watch seen it. <laughs> bird, it's wing, they're talking. All right, all right. I, all right. I imagine okay. that the bird will not l relay nuanced information. No, but if the bird, if, Eric finds out that we are over here. He might tell Bison the bird before. Is named Eric? No. Shark Bake. <laughs> Shark Bake's real name, I imagine. Oh, I he is not cool enough to even have a nickname. Okay. Okay. Uh, Eric, I missed some of this, but you guys can explain yeah. it to me later. I, I don't okay. see how it really changes our plans. Other than no, it doesn't. Other than we just gotta put a hurry up. up. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. All right. Double time. Continuing along, 
Sort of knowing that that's on the periphery there, just keeping an eye out in general, the next thing to look out for is this crossing. That it comes upon you very quickly, no more than 10 minutes after deviating from the pass. And the bridge looks just like the two that were featured on either ends, like in town itself. It actually looks like it may have been designed by the same person who made those bridges. The creek is just deep enough and flows with just enough force that wading through it would be rather inconvenient. So you're very thankful that the people who came before you sort of bothered to build a few crossings along the creek here. This must also be a good fishing spot because there's a, a small wooden little dock that's just been constructed just off to your left. And currently there's nobody kind of casting a line there, although there's certainly a, a nice little spot where you could sort of, there's even little, um, like circular sort of holsters that you could put a rod into and sort of relax and enjoy. There's nobody casting a line at the moment, but there is some kind of giant chicken. It looks that way at first until you realize it's actually maybe a cockatrice, just like the one you saw along the Recluse River. And as it lifts its head and turns in your direction, you see one or two on the opposite bank, sort of moving between the trees, getting some water from the river. And the one that's closest to you takes a couple steps forward and it opens its mouth and like a soggy wad of paper comes out of its oh mouth. Oh my God. Oh. I don't like birds. I don't like birds. I am not. Does it? I don't. Uh, would I be able to tell if this is the same cockatrice that I saw with him? Give me a uh, actually, As the me, one who got close. Give me a nature check, yeah. Nature. Mm -hmm. Uh, 16. 16. It very well could, he had multiple of them. Yeah. It's not the like favored one. I think one of them had like a collar on yeah, it actually. Yeah. yeah, it's not that one, but he has, he has multiple that are okay. trained. But. I mean, the piece of paper, it, it, does it look like you could uncrumple it and it might? Maybe. Is the cockatrice making moves? It's, it kind of. I'm gonna put my hands up. Can I try to distract the bird? In what way would you like to distract the bird? Um, <laughs> although I hate birds, <laughs> animals in general are fine. So I think I want to make like a bad attempt at like a bird noise, but it's like. <laughs> Give me a uh, animal handling. Solid thing. New York City pigeon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think if you do that with advantage. Um. <laughs> Ooh, that's a that's gonna be a 15. 15. A sort of moves a little upriver and makes some of those sort of cooing noises. And the <laughs> takes a couple of steps in your direction. And in that moment, you see them kind of get. Come here, birdie. Okay, great. Okay. Snatch the sort of soggy piece of paper there. Mm. You unfurl it and it starts to come up in pieces in your hand, just from the wetness Very and the saliva. Yeah. You try as gently as you can and you get it all the way open, but the bird saliva has kind of made the ink run and it's just sort of a messy blank oh. note oh. that just has running ink along it. And in that moment, you hear what sounds like a, like a little whistling noise. And everybody give me a perception check. Oh. Can Darcy also be reaching for her fucking javelin? You can be, yes. <gasps> perception, 27. God damn it. Jesus. Uh, that was only a six. Six as well. It's a three. Natural 20! Oh, natural 20! Oh, okay. no. <laughs> There's a lot of noise here with the flow of the river, the cockatrices are making a little bit of noise, but Doxley and TC right away can hear a little bit of that whistle come through the air. And go ahead and turn your monitors on for me. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Damn it. Damn it. Oh no. Shark bait. Leave us alone. Do you have anything it, does the paper or anything look familiar? Uh, no, it just looks like a soggy piece of parchment. So this is the, can you guys see this? Yeah, uh, ours quite. is turning on. Okay. What are you laughing? <laughs> That's the little fishing dock. Yes, so let me know when your guys are on. Try oh, yeah. let go and then try again. Yeah, maybe give it another go. Make sure you guys can see it before. Oh dearest. <laughs> Come on. Uh, come on, baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, baby. Yeah, 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 y
too. You have to encourage your electronics. Yeah. yeah. So you guys were coming down along the path, kind of down this way. Mm-hmm. Here's the little dock where you know there was some rods set up, or cool. rods could be set up. There's the river. There's the bridge across. So TC had kind of come down to this first part of the dock. Yep. Grab that soggy note. Ace is like a little further up here, sort of making noises, getting the bird to move away. And Doxley and TC can hear the whistling, and it sounds like it's coming from up on the hill here, maybe behind or around one of these trees. And as you peer up to that spot, you see someone that TC maybe has a little familiarity with, a sea elf man, rather lithe in appearance with a kind of flowing jacket and robe. And he's perched kind of up there and he leans out sort of holding one of the tree branches so he can be seen a little bit clearer. And he motions to the note and then (laughs) <laughs> and I'm gonna I'm gonna hold it up and with a big shrug and like <laughs> takes out a piece of paper, he holds it against Oh the my thing. god. <laughs> This man's a fucking idiot, TC. Do we see him now? Or yeah, he, yeah, once we, he like leaned yeah, out, and you can see TC gesturing across there. Yeah, I've never seen anything like this. Who is this guy? This is. Oh, and does. you consider kind of moving yeah. across the bridge, but his he has more. Um, he has. Oops, I have it wrong. So there's the one cockatrice that Ace is kind of dealing with over here, but then there's two or three others at least sort of just hovering around the opposite side of okay. the bridge here. Ace, out of the side of my mouth. Ace, <laughs> she, <laughs> uh, don't you think that under other circumstances we wouldn't want more to add to our numbers? It's, it's definitely shark bait, right? Yeah. Definitely is, yeah. No one say anything about Nani to this fucking idiot. As far as I'm concerned, this is the Merc Hall business and the Goblin Leader business. Excellent. If he wants to join us. What is he doing Everybody now? take cover. He, he rolls up a little note oh, no, around a crossbow not. bolt and he sort of puts it around. I'll hold my hat out. <laughs> he looked like he was gonna shoot it at a tree and oh, then- Oh no. <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> oh no. You're fucking hat. It ain't you in the hand. <laughs> The hat that you wouldn't trade. Um. A natural 19 for a 24. DC holds it up, and the bolt goes through the hat. It kind of, the force of it just kind of knocks it out of your hand. <laughs> but it goes into the ground there with the note attached. Impressive. Pull it free, unfurl the note, so and that's where we're gonna take a little break. Ah, yeah, come on, Before TC no. is able to discern exactly what Sharkbait's intentions are very astute of no. you to be looking out for uh, Mr. Sharkbait and his That Was that planned all along? This was already, the idea that he was gonna be at the bridge. Wait a go. Yeah. Oh. Well, Can't um, get that <laughs> So uh, there is indeed a note that he has written okay. for you, but yeah. less yeah. soggy Ooh, version. Yeah, so, yes. But we'll take a little break quickly before we come back to that. Okay, okay. Well on our way here, uh, in on our way to the okay. uh, Goblin Raider camp. <laughs> Um, some words from Clark yet. Bark, very uh, yeah, helpful yeah, in his Clark regard. Bark. Able to get Gosh, you got so much info. most of the information. Oh, I, I looked back, so most of the information. I think you had also asked. Uh, I asked if you could steal a key. Yes, and he steal was a like, key. Nah. <laughs> he did say that was unlikely, so he wasn't able to procure any kind of uniform or key. That's a lot of info, though. Yeah, that yeah. was really good. Point. He's got connects, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not even the Monteros I mean, could get me he, to fucking go there. Yeah, he said, cool. of which he had many. So <laughs> yeah. he's a man in the know. <laughs> he is indeed. And All right. I would like to keep. We'll take a quick break. Uh, enjoy the Brunkala Powerball, and then when we come back, we'll uh, see if uh, Ace can <laughs> hold your tongue. I'm on gonna it. kill <laughs> that guy. <laughs> hey, if you're a listener on Spotify, if you become a Spotify subscriber, which is a link in the description of the video, you'll get access to the Notch and Soda as an audio form. Uh, <gasps> just putting that in there because awesome. some people skip shit. Yeah. All right. Ready? See you on the other side. Let's go. Bye. 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 Don't go. Think about becoming a YouTube member. If you do, you'll get access to moments like this. I try to make more in-depth stuff when it comes to planning missions because you don't want those to be sort of muddy and unclear to the party. Like I had all that stuff written down of how to get to the goblin camp and what to, you know, what kind of advice that Daphne had for the party, because you do want to always be 
I think, like, helping the party, like, because they're never gonna see it exactly the way you see it or understand it the way you do, so you gotta be very, very clear. We can get you access to Notch and Soda, but not for free. You have to pay for it. Welcome back, everybody, to chapter 28 of Brunk Hollow uh. and Tabletop Notch presenting thereof. <laughs> We're on the riverbank here, just crossing over into the downwield, and we've run into an old associate of sorts, Mr. Eric Sharkbait Armstead. But before we dive right back in. Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 I'm sorry. Ready as always. Fuck you. <laughs> um, I was eating my extra kiss bees. Mm, um, yes. uh, Mickey Cub resubscribe, Plain Rug resubscribe, Sea Bonar gifted a sub, Kayvon Clave gifted a sub, Whirling Nerdish resubscribe, Scarface resubscribe, CW Mild gifted five community subs, thank oh, you so much, Brazy Poo, five community subs, Kayvon Clave gifted a sub, Frank and Car resubscribe, and Hopeful Optimus resubscribe. Oh, thank you all. Very thank you all very much. Very Extremely fun. generous. Um, once again, we always remind people that if you were gifted a sub, we're doing Notch and Soda tonight, which is a little talk back after the show. So um, it's subscribers only, but uh, if you were just gifted, hang out, ask questions. Rate our plans. Oh, <laughs> Give everyone rate a score based apology. on their <laughs> yes. Yes, one please. to ten. Rate aliens' apology. Mm. It can be harsh. It's okay. So TC grabs the bolt from the ground there that had sort of pinned your hat to the ground, and you can see right before you open it up, you look back up, and he's sort of <laughs> smugly <laughs> hanging by the side of the tree there. And he's got a little note. It seems right away not to be directed at you specifically, but. <clears throat> Is there a way I can read this over my, his shoulder just to make sure he's If you read it out loud. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Ace, you, can you hear me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <She's still up. laughs> I'm, I'm back in a way. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, I heard someone left a mess at the butcher shop and you were involved. Oh, fuck. As an important member and representative, I'm supposed to discourage messes by sending a message. Care to change my mind? Is he doing that eyebrow thing? <laughs> yeah. Yes, he, it does appear he is doing an eyebrow thing. Go yes. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. okay. How would you change his mind? I mean, money. Message received. He, the water's very loud. <laughs> <laughs> I could try shooting a message back up there. Oh, that'd be cool. Why are Wouldn't we it just, just having a? Com I'm confused why we're shooting letters at each other. Because I think the implication is here that if we don't offer him some kind of bribe, he's going to attack us. Get, get. I don't think he's gonna do it. <laughs> he's shaking his head. Aside from animals, oh, what, oh what is he like? <laughs> him? Yeah, like what would he be interested in? Um, He likes being a whiny baby. Okay. He likes... Um, okay, good. More helpful things though, <laughs> not that. Losing out on jobs. Uh -huh. Being bad at his job. He likes job. losing out on jobs. He likes being bad at his job. Yes. Um, mm. but I mean, I'm, God, um, I've got nothing to offer. Is all I'm going to say. What about gold? Message. Re we don't have any gold at the moment. Uh, message received. I don't know what else he fucking wants. No, he's going to send us a message by. I Attacking was... us, oh, I think. Oh, I've, I've got a very good idea. What? <laughs> oh my god, don't fuck. Someone stop her. Mo Mona? Would uh, you like to share your I idea first? Join, uh, you should join us on this job. Then he can get a shitload of gold and claim some of the glory and you. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone got a, a writing implement? Uh, okay, I write it go. down. That we're offering him to come on the job. Yeah, I've got. Yeah, I've that's got okay. Play. All right. Charcoal. Charcoal. Um. Want to come do a lucrative job with us? We'll we're give him some goblins. A, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, a larger share than the than the sixth he sure. would get. I, mean, I just want I... my initial deposit back, so he can take whatever. He'll get your share of the job. Wow. Okay. Okay. One third. That's great. 
One third? No, one fifth no. of the job. <laughs> He's Earth like Earth. watching from a distance. There's both of us. <laughs> There's, if we add him, that's a sixth. Yeah. So he will get two sixths, no, which no. is one third. What is this oh, bullshit okay, okay. month you're doing? <laughs> no, he's okay, saying so we he's, have how he's many? saying that he'll get Ace's share and his own no. share to make two sixths. No, 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 no. Just getting just Ace's. Give him Ace's share. Don't, you don't want to spy. You don't if he's coming, it. he gets a share. Why would we Pretend I'm not here. And so like, if I'm not getting a share to be here. So five people is less than six people. I think he has the upper hand right now, <laughs> and offering him scraps will do us no good. I he he know, doesn't know that this is listen, scraps. We can I, start there, and if he gives us a hard time, we can try to negotiate. What the fuck was the I prize? Can, 900 for the whole thing? I can kill uh, his chickens. <laughs> 900? Uh, it was, so divided uh, by five. So that would be just Wasn't under 200. Say he gets just under 200. Share. Maybe he'll think yes. that that's a good. Say that like, it's my share. Yeah, he'll, he'll like that. that. Is he coming on this mission? Yes. I guess. If that. TC. So he gets to risk his life and get. Don't yes. put that part so in. And, and if goal. we're God, lucky, don't why are we having this conversation from a distance? Ace's share. Uh, this is good. Uh, if you were company. While he's writing, she's trying again. <laughs> Ace's share. If you were company on Goblin. Killing endeavor. She's actually doing a pretty good job. Oh, oh it looks like she just birthed the baby, so maybe not. I'm gonna do a strangling motion, like you're gonna strangle. Yeah, yeah. I've now okay. got the note and my uh, uh, crossbow mm -hmm. held up. Yeah. Oh. He pulls himself a little closer to the tree, just so he's not sort of hit by it. Or and I'll do a little attack and shoot him right now. So yeah, once again, before this goes, this does not have a 900 crossed out on it. That's not actually that. It's canon, it's canon. It just says Ace's share if you accompany on Goblin Killing Endeavor. I fucking doubt this is gonna work. Then I'll kill his chickens. Give me an attack roll. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's just a tree. But... Shoot him in the eye. 17. <laughs> yep, that'll do. Okay. And then it sticks and he sort of backs up and then. Unfurls it. He takes out his quill again and. Oh, for fuck's sake. I don't understand because that Joker ass started it. I don't understand how my name is suddenly involved. We. I followed the rules of their game. Six in the ground. But Kate did kill a man, so. Well, he was gone. He's crossed out everything except for the words Ace's share and written the word now. <sighs> okay. If we got one fifth of 900. Obviously. It's going to be, I don't know the exact, somewhere around 175. You did that in your head. I ain't got yeah, it. I guess. Shit. I've got <sighs> jack shit. Are you I've fucking kidding me? The full gold. You will get everything back. Are you fucking joking me? You'll, you'll get everything back, Morna. That's what you don't. We'll, we'll be Fine. making back safe. Morna, what do you have? What do you have? Ace? Right now? Ace, my dear. Okay. <laughs> yes. Ace. Yes. Ace. 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 <laughs> I promise I'll shoot that back up if you give it back to me. What is it for me, girl? You skanky. <laughs> How yeah. much do you have on you? I've got enough to cover this. Hold on, because we just said Ace's share. We didn't say how much the actual contract was, and it keeps he can going. Go and find oh, out easily. I don't give a fuck. I want this letter writing to stop. There is a, there is a paper trail. I say 180. Uh, well, if you can send it to him. I thought it was. Now good. we're doing more. I don't know the exact amount. So 175, 180, somewhere in there. 900 divided by 5 is indeed 180. Okay. <laughs> All right. We leave 180 in a little baggie on this, on this fucking dock right now. <laughs> She's gonna oh, put Jesus the gold down. <laughs> <laughs> what have you written? I've written, girl who killed the guy left town, I followed the rules, piss off. And I think that's fair. I'll shoot it back up to him. <laughs> You'll see how well that goes. <laughs> Why don't we just leave it at? Why don't we just leave it at? Sounds good. Here's your share. No okay. more okay. fighting. No I'll more fighting. No more arguing. Piss off. How's that sound? Let's Much nicer. Why? Let's just Spend not it. say the girl Spend who left it. town killed her. Let's just. We're not even. Need, we don't need to open that door. But then you're off the hook. Then we're all off the hook. I would like to not incite Kate in any way. I didn't say your name. I just said girl. While Ace is okay. not no. really looking. Oh my god. I'm gonna biff this shot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> it, go, it curls off to the right, and the wind catches it, and it oh, just into the water. And you see him up there. Uh, 
And then I'm gonna point over to Morna. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend like it's a heavy bag of gold. <laughs> <laughs> Dragging it across the ground. I think that we Is have that? gotten Great. Okay. Oh, quite and nice. Let's okay. go. Yeah, we gotta keep going. See him go, put his go. fingers in his mouth and gives a sort of a loud whistle there, and the all the birds kind of. Whoop. We're in a rush, right? Let's yeah, just keep let's going. Go. Start to scare. Thank away. you, Morna, for putting up money. Did you indeed put the full amount in it? Yeah, fuck it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, Ace. I promise to have better aim for the rest of the day. <laughs> I'm on to you. Sorry, Marta, as soon as I get my 260 gold back that I put up for this fucking job. 260 Do you have your nickname gold. around town? Yeah. It's Hat Man. You guys are going over the bridge. You're known as Hat Man. <laughs> I've heard much, much worse. <laughs> All right, good work, everyone. Sorry. How much gold did you give? 500. God. But it's on loan. That we'll get it. is on. getting returned yeah. to us when this is done. And then it's another 900 on top of it? Yes. yes. He's actually kind of starts crying. <laughs> it's been such a long, All right. 48 hours. Having to pay off okay. Shark Bay was just the shitty cherry on top of it. We go into this goblin fight goblin. with all of our flesh intact. <gasps> yes. No bird beaks missing. Yes. Deep breaths. <gasps> all of the birds have gone in the woods, and you saw him up there, he disappears from behind the tree, and then you see a little rustling of bushes, and he disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> All right. one feel like we got off I, that very was, easily. Yeah, that was great. And hopefully that will Doctor help your described. reputation. All of our reputation. Right? If he puts in a good word of something. This wasn't about putting in a good word. It was about not <laughs> fucking us over today. Yeah. Well, all right. You guys have to be better with your. That was the news. Crazy. crazy. It, we, all right, let's. <laughs> you start across the bridge, <laughs> thinking about the money you left behind and uh, what, what kind of inconvenience he might have been able to cause, or what inconvenience, inconvenience the birds might have been able to cause. As you're crossing over, you have a much clearer view to your left and right because it's not no longer forest, it's the river there, and you can see his periton sort of circle a little bit and then sort of fly far off to the east away from you guys, no longer kind of lurking in the trees nearby. You see the large wingspan and the antlers sticking up, sort of glide down river. All eyes are off. All right. You press on forward. And it's very soon that you catch up to the smaller distributary that flows due south. So any small bit of guesswork concerning your route is now alleviated for a bit. You just simply follow along the bank. It's pleasant enough, and when the sun is shining brighter than any day you've experienced thus far in Brunk Hollow, it's nice to be able to bend down and splash a little water on your face or refill a water skin that you've been reaching to frequently to hydrate. You're still a ways from what could be re reasonably be considered raider territory, but the gears are already turning in everyone's heads because of the differences in how this mission is perceived. For some, the cultivation of reputation or the monetary reward are the most enticing benefits. For others, the personal relationship to the abductee. And in another category, a deeper understanding of how the goblins have come to access magic and what that might mean in a broader sense. All of these considerations might slightly alter one's approach to completing this quest, such as how willing one is to jump to violence, whether bargaining is on the table at all. Things are always complicated when there's a hostage, essentially, a prisoner or a hostage. These thoughts come and go, and sometimes you glance to your companions wondering where their heads are at. And you continue on. And there's a little bit of walking here, another 10, 15 minutes of sort of long walk if you guys will have. You're now kind of in sort of a mostly wooded area, again, following along the bank of the river, and you're keeping an eye out for that next landmark, which is where the water starts to braid and gets very muddy and stuff, but that hasn't quite happened yet. Mm -hmm. <sighs> well, if anyone, uh, uh, Elian, wasn't there at the uh, Merc Hall, it might do as good to scout out some possible goblin dig, dig sites, or, oh, guys, what was the other thing? Oh, watchtowers, to topple them or burn them. 
I've got a flask of oil that can take down one of them just with some flint. You mean them. to draw attention from their base camp or maybe a watchtower close to their camp or something? Precisely. Maybe we scout it, see if there's any, you know, significant watchtowers or digs that we can disrupt in order to make our attack on the main base. Also, my guess is that we will probably find Nani in a dig site. Mm. Yes, tucked away. Somewhere underground. How rare is it that the goblins are digging? Um, not, not especially rare. I mean, they'll, it's not their outside of this area, more scavenging types, but if there's a an obvious mine that has, you know, these hills are very rich with resources. Mm -hmm. They're opportunists. They'll they'll set up a mining <laughs> operation. It might be a rather crude one. It's not gonna be nearly as sort of extensive as like a bison dig site, but yeah, they'll they'll mine for basic resources. And sorry, Briggs Peak was way outside the cusp, but was the implication that the goblin camp is also outside of the cusp? No, no, no well within the, the cusp, yeah. Okay, okay. The, the peak is way far away. It's simply, as soon as the river bends and you no longer have that yeah. as a guide, you're using the trajectory of the peak God. as a guide. Oh my God. <laughs> Elian, do you still have the note that you retrieved from one of the goblin corpses? Uh, yeah, I have, uh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe there's yes. some sort of information there now that we have fresh eyes on it. Uh, okay, so for everyone, and Ace, uh, this is when we ran into the Goblin Raiders before, I found this. Uh, why do Will Creek and Patty Pitter Patter... It always starts like a joke. Yeah. Want the new recruits to take a turn in the quarry. Nothing good left down there. Makes me suspicious. I hate suspicious. So Will Creek and Patty Pitter Patter, probably the leaders. Uh, maybe that a leap, but could be. And there's a quarry nearby that has something special down there. Maybe they want ev someone to go down there. Everyone to go down there, it looks like. And didn't they keep Nelly hostage because they wanted her to look at something? Yeah. Their attention's on this quarry. Okay. The one thing that is repeating in my head over and over is no matter what strategy we employ to get in there, I think we lose a lot of our strengths if we don't get to Nani first and they have her in their clutches. So if there's a way that we can secretly find her and get to her, that's the one problem I keep running into in my head. Release her, put a weapon in her hand. Something I know, I don't, I know we don't have much gold to barter with, but mm. I'm wondering if these Goblins are, are digging for ore, for resources. I might be able to trade information about some um, packed mines, just send them away off our trail. Probably smaller groups, but you that's probably, what I've got. You'd probably have to go it alone if we did that, because I'm sure that leader, if he's there, would recognize mm. us. That's I think true. we just take out their leaders. I, again, yeah, there. leaving there without killing the two leaders means we have okay. not accomplished our mission. Do we did um, that's more the for like hall. getting getting in. in getting in yeah that's groups, fair yeah did uh, Daphne uh, mention do we have to bring back anything to prove heads would be nice heads if possible although I'm sure she would find out a lie quickly if we didn't if we you know that's fair okay well I feel like. That is a, de a, a decent strategy. TC's sneakiness could get in and get eyes on maybe where Nani is. Yeah, once we approach, we'll probably know a better idea of what the first step is. Into the hills. Do I know anything about this? I think I'm trying to, um, like, conspiracy board all the <laughs> mine locations and, like, mm -hmm. why the goblins. Like, has this one been expunged already? Have we cleared it out? Like, it, It's not an area that you were ever sent to clear. Mm -hmm. I mean, the goblins tend to get the scraps, as it were, like, the what are considered sort of the, the good sites. You know, Bison and, and the Fort Contrition as well yeah. have sort of locked down. So that doesn't mean there aren't resources available elsewhere, but you've certainly, you're not aware of, like, they're not sitting on some great resource that you're aware of. Like some really valuable real estate. Or this something. was just overlooked because it was like. Yeah, they kind of set up camp here because people's attention was elsewhere. They went to other more valuable areas, and you don't even know if 
you don't even know if the mine is still like yielding resources. It could just be that they set up here and now it's now it's their place because mm -hmm. that's where they started originally. Uh, yeah. So people have very little idea of kind of the scope or size of the goblin camp because people haven't gotten really close to it. It's been dangerous to do so. So it just it doesn't make sense why they want what they would want Nani to look at. I mean, everything in this area. There's a reason Bison doesn't really have any active mines around here. Is she an expert in skeletal remains? Skeletal remains? Early in our tenure here, we came across some goblins in a dig site that were obsessed with some bones of some kind. To your knowledge, Nani has, she's, she's her, concerned with mines. Her specialty is, you know, ore, terrain, mines, land. That's Rock. all I can think of. What was found to be insignificant anyway? The bones. Not to the goblins. Sure. Anyone else here speak Anyone? goblin? Sorry, <laughs> not a little. Nope. No. Oh. You do? You speak goblin? Yeah. Oh. Oh. That's great. That's useful. That's skill. Many of the goblins around here speak common, as you've found, but the ability to be able to maybe overhear a conversation, because if it's just goblins, they might be talking to each other in goblins. Okay. Okay. We creep closer, see if we've seen any watchtowers, a way in, as bargaining or sneaking. As we get towards the rolling hills there. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and still a little time. <laughs> okay. So you continue onward. A little more walking, 20, 25 minutes. You're starting to become aware that the river is losing that very perfectly linear trajectory. It's ever so slightly starting to bend. And at the same time, the banks are getting a little shallower. And instead of reeds and grasses lining the edges, you see piles of sediment, sand, and muck. Rather than one well-defined channel, it's starting to split off slightly. Kind of coming off, coming back, coming off, coming back. This is the braiding that Daphne spoke of, common with rivers that have sort of variations in the amount of water that they carry, rivers with less substantial banks that aren't sort of carved into the rock. At any given point, the water is much shallower than usual than it was 10, 15 minutes ago when you were walking along it. It makes it e relatively easy, though it's very muddy, to cross across the river, and that's why Daphne sort of suggested that once you reach the spot, it's easy to kind of relatively move to the other bank here, even though you're kind of wading through the water. So to make sure that you don't get thrown off course, it was recommended that you get to the other side of this as soon as it becomes convenient to do so. So it's starting to get a little muddier here, maybe another five minutes of walking and you'll get to a point where it'll be time to kind of just kind of move through the muck and the mud to the other side. And also way in the distance, you can start to see the faded outline of that Brakes Peak that was mentioned as well. And that peak, where is it? originally was very much lined up with the river is now just ever so slightly starting to peel off. So you can tell that they use that as a way to sort of guide you in the right direction. Mm -hmm. Do you think after we wade through the water, it's uh, Doc and I hanging back a ways? Are we getting close enough that I'm not good at being quiet? So if we have someone up 50 feet and then Doc and I? Or... Maybe not until the ravine. Okay. When the hills start to roll. Yeah. Huh. was when they said we'd be in their territory. Mm -hmm. look at that. Yeah. Because the hills won't roll, you, you're gonna hit a ravine, turn left, and so, then the I mean, eyes up, but hopefully. How many of y'all did this goblin bot, this gob boss see? All, all of us. us. All of us, yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> they, they were riding pigs. They were riding pigs? Well, wow, four. Big, big boar. Big boar, yeah. I do like their animals. Yeah, well, it was pretty gross. <laughs> one of the leaders, one of the pieces of magic we saw them cast was when we would attack, they were able to sort of reflect the damage back to us. Pretty hard. Yes. yes. So if you see a chest glowing all white and yellow or whatever it was. And I don't remember, that was that had it. It hit someone from super far away as well, right? It wasn't just yeah. nearby. Yeah. Did they do anything with their hands or did their did something glow? Seemed like it was in their chest, oh, something in their, it was on their chest. Fast. Interesting. Interesting. Based on the description, it didn't sound like they were casting an yeah. incantation, like it was some kind of magic within them. Um, like not sort of a classic, like, speaking of a spell, like a somatic mm. sort of material. Component. Wait, was it something that they were wearing? Or? It was not something they were wearing, oh, as far as you mm. could tell. Oh, okay. the, the light was just kind of in them? 
Kind of, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so iron, like Iron Man? Yeah, seen. that's what I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> mm. You slog a little further forward. You're looking over, and you know, as good a time as any. It's it, the the trade-off for the fact that the water is very shallow and muddy at this point is it's gotten quite wide. So it's, you have to kind of slog through here. But as good a time as any to sort of start making the trek across the muddy, muddy water. Let's do it. All right, ladies first. Great, and I'll start going. Thanks. Morna takes kind of one step down the bank, and you slip a little bit just from the just from the mud, kind of sliding forward. And right away, you can feel each time you pick your foot up, it creates like a little suction because of the way it kind of sinks into the mud. So, and you can already feel the mud kind of splashing up your calves. It's getting all up on your boots. Um, as you, if Morna's the one going first, but as people start to go, give me an athletics check to start off the bat here. Uh, would anybody? Well, mind carrying you. I'm sure I'll make it. Oh, but your leg. 17. It doesn't look comfortable. Uh, oh, on your leg. Yes. I, Doc and I could probably go on either side of you. Please. You oh, want to? Oh, sure, yeah, either side. An elbow each. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So still walking, or are you trying to be I mean, lifted? <laughs> I mean, walking with their assistance? Talent. As much as you can. Or do you want to lift him above our heads? Above our yeah, heads? Out of the water. And throw him <laughs> I would just hate to stress the knee. Well, how about you just take me up on that piggyback ride I offered a while back? Uh, today's not the day, I'm afraid. What's the difference? Oh, wait. Oh, see. right. Oh, you would give me. Oh, yes, the piggyback. I thought you you thought I would be hopping on your back. <laughs> yes, I misunderstood. <laughs> Please, can I jump on your back? <laughs> Go. Are you following Morna into the mock there? Give me an athletics check to search. I'll take up the rear then. That's gonna be a 19. <laughs> Again, kind of moving through each time. How deep is it? I mean, it varies, because it's sometimes it's water, sometimes it's just mud, Like, and again, the river's braiding, so it never gets deeper than like knee-high, the water. It never gets deeper than that. But sometimes it's more mixture of mud, sometimes it's more water. Sometimes when you're in the watery parts, you can kind of feel the crunchy gravel on the riverbank, but then you kind of come up and then foot gets in another mud. Okay, so they rolled, so next in line was, so you're on Doxley's back. Give me an athletics check with a uh, minus two penalty for having a, uh, for having someone on your back. All right, so it's a straight roll. 18. Eight. Oh. Ooh. 19. Muscle mommy. Putting on a good Muscle show. Mommy. <laughs> Can I have a moment here in the ear of my <laughs> dear? <laughs> Whisker sweet nothing. In Elvish. Oh, okay. why not? Everybody speaks it. Nami? <laughs> 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 I wouldn't make any demands, but I would hope that any magical resources you're talking about would be shared in this endeavor. I was talking about magical resources? Yes, fucking Morn, I was trying to, you were, you were all trying to oh, speak without my ear. I was referring to the innate magic that is very obviously embedded in her being. Right. If I find some magic TC, I'll be sure to share it with you. All right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch. Jillian, give me an athletics check. Yeah. Oh Where did that go? Back here. 17. 17. Ooh, yes. So all of you sort of trudging through this length because it's the mud is so deep and you can feel the pressure on your feet. It's mostly just a matter of contrition, like the effort of mm -hmm. just, it's exhausting, but none of you are losing your footing. Nobody slips. You just kind of <sighs> Finally, and Morna's the one first, although people are falling behind, you get kind of up on a little rocky bank and then because the river again is like split off into a bunch, you get up to the top. Take a breath, and then down you go again, like another little slope again. This time I need you to give me uh, a survival check. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Oh. With this one, the idea is you're sort of used to the sensation of the amount of physical effort it takes, but you're trying to keep an eye out for any like sudden deeper holes that are water that you could like kind of fall into or step into at any moment. Ooh, baby. 
Um, that's only a seven. Seven, right? <laughs> Who's next in line there, Ace? Go ahead, survival check. That's also a seven. seven. What in the world? Seven, geez. The two of you are kind of moving along that next one, and you see Morna sort of take one step and then <laughs> go deeper than she thought. And she has to kind of... Can I reach in and grab one of the ropes from my climbing kit and just have it at the ready sure, here? Sure, you can have like, it at the ready there, yeah. You see Morna sort of struggling, face. and Ace, you see that, and you kind of take two quick steps forward to grab her, and then... <laughs> Is everything okay up there? What's going on? Just a little money. <laughs> How tall are dwarves? Like three and a half, four feet? Yeah, like four, four or something. I forget. Yeah. Oh, gotta be. Like, oh god. Yeah, let's actually look that up. That's a good. You need a lasso. Yeah. I could. No. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah, between four and five feet tall. So yeah, not okay. like three or something. Oh, okay. Between four and five feet. Ooh. Great. Um, next is Doxa. Give me another. Uh, give me a survival check. This one is no penalty. It's not related to the uh, physical strength. Oh no. Seven. It's a dirty one. <laughs> this stretch, much more difficult. A group that's very physically prepared, but sort of with the running water and the murky sort of silt filled water, difficult to see some of those holes in the ground. And this time Doxley, what? Oh shit. Oh, as she shit. does, DC, you tip <gasps> and you, you're like halfway in the water is trying to like, hold on as best you Rush can. up behind him to try and get, give me a survival check. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's a ten. We're gonna drown. Oh, oh. <laughs> and Ilian like goes face first. Oh, the mud oh, there, oh, immediately oh. covered. Oh. And he reaches out and he grabs the back of like TC's <laughs> shirt and tries to pull him up forward out of the water. Oh and God. as everybody's kind of flailing around, trying to right themselves oh here, God. just trying to get themselves oh, back up as best they possibly can. There in the front, oh, no. Morna just. She pulls her leg free, but the other leg sinks just a little bit in, and that leg feels like it hits something um, not solid, but not sort of the soft mud. Oh, and you body. just feel that, and you reach down, oh, no. and you feel something almost like fuzzy? Oh, no! Oh, oh, and as you touch it, there's a little moment of panic, but you also, it doesn't feel like it's moving, and you sort of tighten your fist and you pull, Pull it out, and with a muddy hand, sort of water dripping down your arm, there's like fur. You open your hand, it's like stuck to the inside of your hand there, almost as if like blue. There's some kind of, almost like an animal had sunk deep into oh, the no. muck there, uh, and maybe suffocated or died. Uh, and now it's sort of underneath your left foot there. Uh, uh, <sighs> slowly but surely, everyone. Like yeah, I, On my trousers. Forging forth. Are we close enough to the bank that there's any like tree or anything that I could last so? Uh, getting closer, not okay. quite yet. There's kind of another crest and then one more dip oh, and then you'll be to the other side. Right. For this last one, I need everybody to give me uh, acrobatics checks. Oh. As this one, the sliding causes you to have to catch yourself constantly. So you'll step and slide and <laughs> have to keep yourself from kind of falling. It has to be acrobatics, it can't be athletic? No, yeah, because it's not a not sort of a test of physical strength so much as your reflexes. Am I still carrying TC? You are, okay. and penalty because of that, yep. Minus two? Yep. I don't have to make the check. Uh, no, yeah. not as long as <gasps> uh, that. Nice. 14. 14. 23. 23. 17. 17. 15. 15. 15. <laughs> all right, guys, all right. Nice. I've got you. Moving across, Thank you. a couple slips, <laughs> writing yourself. And just as you're getting to the other bank, TC, you have the rope and you can see the trees. If there's the a couple, I'm gonna try to get a lasso on one. <laughs> give me a attack roll. Okay. Either give me a d20 roll and um, add your um, dexterity modifier, okay. but not proficiency. Okay. And it just kind of sits and didn't quite have the oomph to get all the way. Pull it back. I saw it tasting. You start to reel it back in and it goes taut. And the other end of the rope, uh, kind of like uh, slow but firm. Give me an athletics check. Oh. Uh, ooh, 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 18. 18. TC starts to pull. And at first there's like kind of a stasis. Like it's, and then you, Give it a little more strength, and it starts to come free. 
And as it does, oh, the other end of the rope has sort of a muddy, pulpy hand. No, that's okay. Oh. It's getting really pulled great up from the other together. side. <laughs> as the rope emerges. Is it decomposing? It does not look decomposing. It also doesn't look like a physical being. It looks like as it's being pulled up, the mud itself <gasps> is taking oh. form. And it's an arm at first, no, and then no. like another the arm. Like the rope, JC. <laughs> and then a, another <laughs> couple arms. And it's sort of a blobby, headless figure, sort of clumpy, and it's holding the other end of the rope. And takes one big step forward. Go ahead and take your shot. Oh, oh you don't right. like center like, mass. I don't want to um, use any of my Does it no. see me? Do I have uh, any kind of... Um, oh. It, yeah, I mean, yes, okay. it's aware of you, <laughs> certainly, I'm about it. seeing. So it forms into this kind of saggy, blobby beast made entirely of mud. The legs and arms take shape in the air. It's almost like if you drop like a droplet of ink into water and it like expands and gets bigger. No. It gets bigger and bigger, and for the briefest moment, it even kind of looks like a vaguely humanoid face, even though it doesn't totally have that. Mm -hmm. But you only have just a second to study it before you fire. What'd you fire? 11 to 11 hit. will miss, I believe. Let me double check. Oh. Uh, what? Nothing. No, 11's great. I'm sure it'll be fine. 11 will miss. <laughs> Just oh. off balance because you're up on Doxley's shoulders. And as in that exact moment while you're reloading, oh, it oh. goes oh. in for like a big body slam Doxley. hug. Yeah. And I need everybody to roll initiative. No. Oh. Let's go, let's go. Oh, oh that sucked. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't want to use any of my Okay. Stuff. Try not to. Should I we guess. turn that? Should we wait to turn these back on? Uh, give me one. Just run out of the room. All right. Yeah. 20, I think 25. Okay. Yeah. Initiative. We should try to run. I. Oh no. Fifteen to nineteen. Uh, me. Nineteen. Nineteen. Oh. My uh, dex is high. <laughs> your dex uh, my dex is high. Your dex. My dex is plus four. Yeah, that's twelve. So nineteen. TC. Then more not. Seventeen for Ace. And then fifteen Ilian. I'm just doing too many rolls over there, guys. I just, you know, we're going to know. Interesting. Interesting. For one villain? Yeah. 14. Yeah. Okay. For the, we're calling them nice Mud yeah. Hulk. Them? Mud Hulk. Mud Hulk. Uh, no, it's they, them. It's the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's only one. <laughs> yeah. The singular. They, them, some hot. <laughs> okay, what was the order? We got TC, then Morna. Ace then Ilian. Mudholz, Doxley. Oh, fuck, I love this track. I'm not gonna be able to yeah, move. Good one. Uh, Mud Hulk and then what? Me. I'm just Doxley. Yeah. Okay, Pe people may turn their monitors on here. May we? Can <laughs> <laughs> uh, we get a remix on this? Anyone? <laughs> yeah. So this was the, so this is like the third, so it, it there was basically Woo! three of these dips. So it went kind of up, dip, up, dip. So this is the third of the three. You guys actually made it quite far. You got down to the third dip. Hey, you're welcome. And so it's, we have Morna in the front there, sort of making it. It's thick. Mm. And, and are we on the other have... side of it at this point, or are we in the thick of it? You, uh, you and TC are right now in the sort of deeper part of it here. Oh, okay, but they're on the other side. Okay. So Ilian is behind, sort of behind the deepest part. And again, this is still walkable, even though it sort of looks rather deep. But, like you, yeah, you can you can move through this. It's just very sort of sludgy. Okay. Got it. Um, and then uh, Doxley and TC. So we all, we just run, right? We just run. I think we run. Yeah. It is on her shoulders. Put her up there. Put them up there. Cute. Very cute. Um, and in addition to that. We've got ah, a little bloody figure. Oh, kind of cute. Looks like the thing. He kind of cute. He do be kind of cute. They do be kind of cute. <laughs> they do, they do be. No, oh, don't make it bigger. Oh, yeah, it needs to be a little bigger. Ah! Oh, my. <laughs> no longer cute. Wait, can we see its butt? It looks like it had a full butt. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it's got a big old lumpy bomb. Look at it! Yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, Rock and indeed, at the same time, Ace sort of looks over to see what's happening, and then you hear, oh, <laughs> look over to I'm your left side, and there's another one coming over here. Oh, no. I'm not throwing javelins at these things. Are we, are we, they will absolutely run in. We're running. Disengage, baby. Okay, so before we start the initiative order, he, he did do a sort of a big sort of slam 
Um, and it's gonna be on, he's gonna do sort of both to uh, Doxley. Uh, I'll actually give you the choice. It seems like it's kind of jumping at TC there because DC was one who threw the rope, but you can kind of dump TC off your back and interpose in that moment. That's up to you. Yeah, I'll do oh, it. So TC, you see this <laughs> mud hulk coming towards you, and then you feel Doxley just <laughs> toss your legs and you <laughs> fall backwards into the water. There. So you're gonna be you're gonna be prone in the water, but you are not the target of this. <laughs> you didn't warn me first. And splash in the water. Okay. Toss me off like that. Uh, 18 hit? Uh, that just hits. Oh. Yes. Okay, 18 hit. Oh boy. Oh no. Um, you take... Uh, 14 bludgeoning damage. Oh my god. <laughs> As it crashes against the water, it makes this huge splash and mud kicks up everywhere. Everybody is filthy, head to toe, caked in mud. In addition to that, I need you to make a strength saving throw. Oh. 16? 16, that'll do it. So, yes. as it starts to envelop you, you can feel the mud trying to like get around the side of your head and like suck you in in the last moment. Oh, pull yourself free, oh and you get free from the creature. Okay, um, that is that is what happened before anything else happened. So we go into initiative, which starts with TC. Run. All right, a couple of quick things here. Yes. Um, with my leg injury, uh, it says when I dash, I have to make a saving throw. Uh, um, in this mud here, am I still... Like, my, my speed is lessened, even with the cane. Everybody's speed is difficult terrain. This is the muddy difficult terrain. Yeah. So halved for the difficult terrain. Yeah. And then what were you asking? I don't about? know, I guess, is it almost easier to stand upright? Uh, I mean, it's easier to keep your feet on the thing, but you might, like, fall and... It's not necessarily easier to stay, like, fully up. Yeah, right? all right, well, um... I assume we're legging it. I think so. All right, oh, and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna use. Oh God, half, half your movement to stand. Up. So that's um, with the with the cane, my movement is 25 feet. Okay. Um, so you now have 12 and a half for before dashing or doing anything. So else. I'll go the 12 and a half. Great. So, like straight forward. What do you want to do here? Uh, yeah, towards my friends there. Okay, 12. Um, there. I will. Use a dash action. Okay. So you do another, do do 20. Oh, no, wait. Wait, excuse we, me. Yeah, so we didn't do the difficult terrain there, right? Oh, yeah. no. We so didn't. you have so 12 and a half, and, and, and then that's half, so we'll call it six feet, six, basically. Like yeah, so six, six feet. Oh, my and God. So now you can dash and use 12 and a half if you like. So now we'll dash and uh, that'll be my cunning action. Okay. The dash. So that is a dash, so you okay. need to make so a save to make sure oh to God. see if you sort of fall off. So TC with his cane, it's like sticking into the mud. Come on. Come uh, on, buddy. This is dexterity save. Okay, I got a, I got a big. Uh, uh, yeah. No. 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 Are it's you no. You have to have inspiration, no. right? Dear God, no. You have to. No. <laughs> it was a natural one, so I'm. Are you yes. inspired? Yeah. Did you see what's gonna like? So, like <laughs> he just disappeared, yeah. like Bye. a toilet flushing. <laughs> I'm gonna use a different tie. Yeah, good idea. Good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I like, I got a big one. modifier. Oh. There we go. Nice. Um, uh, Twenty-three. Great. Oh, yeah. Stay oh, upright. So that was your fun. cunning action dash. Well, oh, no more Jesus. inspiration for TC. So you still have an action, a regular. Action. Yeah. All with. Oh, that's as far as I go with movement and dash. Um, I'll try to get its attention here and fire another bolt. Which one? Um, the one on Doxley? Yeah, the one on. Oh, God, there's another one right there. Yes, on the one on Doxley there. Great. You may do so. You brute, you brute, you brute! <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Fire off here with a um, 21. Nice. nice. Hits. Okay. Sneak attacks active. Uh, oh, because somebody's He's in next easy ways with Doxley. Yeah. Damage. Uh, um, Big money. Nine, ten, twelve plus four is sixteen damage. Sixteen damage, great. Nice. Okay. That's it for me. Right. You see that stick in, and it did seem, even though it's sort of a mud creature. I mean, the bolt sticks in, and in addition to that, it kind of 
Oh, good. Like it didn't like that, so it didn't, mm. you know, it didn't seem to like not have an effect or anything, okay. even though it's a That's kind good. of a physical weapon there. Okay. Morna's next. Good. All right, Morna. Oh god. Oh god. Um, I'm gonna rage, I guess. Okay. Looks around at what's unfolding but around I'm her. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna try to. Oh, oh, uh, wait. So that's plus. Constitution saving throw. Plus four. Um, so that's 15. I think that. If it meets, it passes? Yes. Okay. It does. <laughs> Ooh! I, uh, in, the, in the future, declare which one you're using before oh, you I'm do sorry. the roll. I, I assume, yes, but. Uh, yes, yeah. I am suppressed. Because now that you have two options. Because we have Ace Adams Rogue, <laughs> Representative Bison Stott here. <laughs> yes. Um, so Great. I'm going to. Go into regular. You're able to. You can feel your heart. Oh, no. And you just. My normal. Through that. Human rage. Just a regular rage. And I'm going to. Whack. Wait, how close is he, I think? Um, he's 10 feet or 20 feet, because it's difficult terrain. Oh, It takes 20 feet of movement to get to him. I'm going to run, actually, and grab TC. <laughs> okay. Um, that is what I'm going to do. What is your total movement? 40. 40, so you can go 20. Okay. Um, give me a athletics check. You're close. You're not quite melee. You can kind of reach out and kind of grab a piece. <laughs> um, it, I think I have advantage on that. So if that's um, on strength checks. Yeah. Uh, so that's five plus eighteen. Great. Twenty-three. So you, so you, if you allow her to do so, she's so moving through the muck more. And nice. Grabs you. So you, he's not like you're not on her shoulders, but you have him sort of uh, almost like his arms around yours. So you can kind of. Shoulder the load a little bit there. Yeah, and okay. that's my action, I guess, to grab him. Yeah, so pick him up there would be an action. Yeah. Then I think that's all I can do. Okay. So TC being traded from person to person yeah. here. <laughs> uh, he's gonna base. slow us down. I, all I right, Ace, switch. you're up. I'm still useful. Um, can I see across the way to where Ilian is? Uh, yep. Like how far he is? Yeah. He is uh, 55 feet away from you. Because I, I think the name of the game is all of us just to get, get across and run. So I wonder, I want to try get uh, like a rope to him and like help pull, just provide some assistance. I think the ropes are sixty feet actually, if I'm not mistaken. Aren't isn't a length 50, of rope? Right? A length of ropes fifty. I thought it was fifty. Uh, let me check. I thought it was sixty 50. feet of head rope, but I might be. Oh, you might be oh okay. Yeah, I, I was thinking. I don't have it, it is fifty feet. Fifty feet. So you can take a step forward and then. Teacher's do it. pet. God damn it. <laughs> is my, is my rope, the one, the one rope that I had there is probably. It's like lying in the muck. You can oh. try and grab it. It's like yeah. draped across the mud there. I, so yeah, if you take 10 feet of movement because you have to move forward five, which takes 10, then he's within rope range. Yeah, I'll do the I'll do the 10 feet of movement and then use my action to uh, haul a rope across. Give me an athletics check. Yeah. See if we get that rope nice and close. Yeah. Big roll. It's gonna be a 13. 13, that's enough to, it kind of lies in the ground get it, right there. Get it, get it, get it. <laughs> And before it kind of, it's not like gonna sink all the way, but it, you just have to pull it up out, wipe some of the mud off of it. Okay, anything else? Uh, no, <laughs> just keeping an eye on these alien guys. All right, alien, you're up. Um, is, with difficult terrain, would I be able to do a long jump as far as Oof. I can go? Uh, yeah, you can, so. Hold the rope, wrap it around like my wrist a couple times and then try to get as far as I can across. So uh, long jump, you gotta move at least 10 feet on foot before the jump to do a long jump, but you can. Oh wait, yeah, that would take 20 feet of movement to, okay. the, to do the 10. And then um, to do each, uh, each, is he in the difficult there? Does he have a little stretch? This, all this tan is difficult. This is all yeah. muddy terrain. Yeah, anything that's anything that's these rocks are not difficult terrain, and like up here is not, but the, anything mm -hmm. else is. Um, yeah, there's some little patches of rock that are not. Um, okay, long jump here. Du -du 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 -du. Sorry, Pat. No, no, it's fine. I'm just looking. You can cover a number of feet up to your strength score, not the modifier. So what's the okay. score? Nineteen. Nineteen. So you can jump nineteen oh, feet as long as yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. So you move uh, awesome. 10 feet yeah. forward, which costs 20 feet of movement, mm -hmm. and then you can do the... Yeah, I still hold the rope. I'm trying to like keep the rope going. Right, so you basically get all... Yeah. All right. Nice. All the way next to Doxy. That does take your movement, all your movement, uh -huh. but you still have an action. Um, uh, 
Doc, you, you okay? Oh, uh, All right, I'm gonna dash. Actually, right, Lean continues right, to kind of wind the rope, rope up yeah. as he does that. So you're dashing. Yeah. Right. Uh, so fifteen, right? Yeah, fifteen and difficulty. Great. Uh, right. uh, do you think I should throw it back to Doc? Probably. Probably. Okay. I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's an action. Yeah, I mean, probably like, should. You could Object toss there? it back to her, but she can't like catch it. Yeah, you can like, leave the rope behind you if you want. Probably will do that. Okay. Uh, just to make sure we can all get out of this water, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Need me. Okay. Okay. Just as you get to the other side, you dash, uncoil dash, the rope, dash. throw it behind you, kind of lands in the shallow water there, sort of floating on top. I'm still going to hold uh, after that hold, so maybe I can. Well, no, okay. I'll just let go. I'll let Ace take it, and then I'll pull on my turn or something. <clears throat> okay, I'm done. Sorry. Yeah, all right. All right. It was mud. Mud. <laughs> dash, dash, That's dash. Yeah, <laughs> take us to the mud halts. Okay. So this one is going to waddle forward just a little further, and once again, <laughs> come on, you ugly bastard! <laughs> oh. <laughs> then another like <laughs> splashing wave of mud comes up. Stinky, stinky boy. Uh, tw- twenty-one did. Oh no! Hit. Okay, not as bad a damage roll. Uh, Eleven bludgeoning damage. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, oh, I need you to give me a strength saving throw again. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Nine. Nine. Oh. This one oh. lands on Doxley, and you can see her hand reaching out for that rope, but just before she grabs it... <laughs> Shit! Is she fully <laughs> submerged? And you can't see her at all. It is, she has been engulfed by. It looks like it's in. She's oh. in the main body of the thing. He's like the thing standing there, and every once in a while you'll see Doxley's hand oh, like fuck. come out as she's. Were you sort holding of the rope? Fighting. She was unable to grab the rope there. Um, so Doxley is engulfed. I'm just gonna actually. Uh, is he liquid enough that Doc can breathe? <laughs> uh, oh, to be he, determined. Is he made oh, enough no. of water? Yeah. Like that? That's a good question. Um, okay, you are engulfed. Um, in addition to that, he's gonna. Oh my god. Oh, he's gonna eat his all. billion there. Um, okay, this one, inst- instead of kind of wading forward, you see it plunge its hand down into the mud. Awesome. Take a huge hunk of like mud and rock. Wow. And it's gonna throw it, and in a AoE, oh, I need. No. Uh, this, these three people, I need right. Morna, TC, and uh, Ace to all make... Oh, wait, you might be able to get Ilian in this, too. Oh. What is it, Ace? This is a power play by this. <laughs> oh, ten, oh, ten foot radius? Oh, yeah, this is oh gonna be able to, shit. Yeah, that's going to be able to get everybody. So Ilian as well. Uh, yep. You are covered, so you you can't get hit by this. Don't yeah, worry, guys, I'm um, safe. Dexterity saving throw. Okay. Oh, sweet. 25. Oh, I have advantage. Go around for me, 25. 25. Pass. Nine. <laughs> Fail. Morna. Uh, that is a uh, 18. Pass. 17. 17 pass, great. So just right. uh, ace fail, so. I'm, I'm too little. Too little. <laughs> oh, oh, mud. You didn't even have to duck, you were just like. <laughs> uh, 10 bludgeoning damage to ace, and half as much to the other two. Uh, five to you. I'll use my reaction. Again, half, for but half again for me, yeah. Uh. For the physical damage? Yes, it is physical damage. Yep. And then yep. reduced to two feet. And reduced, yeah, a lot of uh, so physical damage reduction. The half goes down to two. So. Yep. Half drowns down again, so it's down to two. Yep. Nice. Good work, everyone. All two days. <laughs> so that, that sort of meteor of rock and mud hits the ground and just <laughs> creates this rippling shockwave of wow. muck. And then um, that he is going to just kind of waddle forward. Oh, God. Okay, that is the Hulk's turn. Doxley. Doxley, you first of all take uh, oh some acid God. damage at the oh. start of your turn. Okay. Acid? As the sort of, it, it, this creature sort of pulled together with some kind of magic energy and it's sort of eating away at you as you're inside. You can feel mud sort of flowing into your mouth as you're inside. Uh, Four acid damage. Oh my God. Um, and as you open your mouth, <gasps> You find that you cannot breathe, oh, so you have, you are, you know, you have, uh, what is the... Uh, le choke. <laughs> you have le choke. I have le choke. Oh, you can hold your breath for a while. It's minutes equal to one plus your con modifier. 
One plus my con mod? Yeah. Oh, four minutes. Be great. So you oh, can hold your breath uh, for quite a long all right. time. If this combat's Whoa. still going on in four minutes, we got another problem. <laughs> yeah. However, um, uh, when uh, you no. when you take damage when you can't breathe, oh, I believe. Oh, you do need I make lose like a, thirty seconds or something? Uh, yeah, make a con save. Give, give me a uh, yeah. Give me a Constitution saving throw. It's kind of like a concentration saving throw. Eight. Eight. So we're gonna knock a minute off oh, your wait. breathing there. Oh my god. Okay, so I have three minutes. Three minutes. Of breathing. Okay. Um, and okay, so you have the restrained condition, but you're not totally um, like not. Yeah, you're not totally incapacitated. Okay. You're just restrained, the... and you're taking acid damage, and you can't breathe. Those. Are the <laughs> That's it. That's all. Oh, can she make chill. a check to become unrestrained? At the end of her turn, she can make another check. Okay. Mm -hmm. So restrained right. uh, reduces zero uh, attack rolls against creature at, uh, against me. And can't I'm move. It, it, it. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah, you okay. can attack while well, you're in here, it's just as disadvantage. Uh, a quick question for you. Would, if I were able to like pull out a smoke stick, could I activate it and try to reach out and drop it outside of his body or something? I will let you make a disadvantage athletics trek to try and do so, to try and push your fist through like the creature's body and sort of drop it out. Uh. Mm, no, I'm gonna attack it. Okay, disadvantage uh, attack. Disadvantage with just. So with your javelin already out, you're just trying to like jam the javelin into any sort of vulnerable space. Eight. That will miss. Uh, second attack. Great. Uh, yeah, 13 to hit. That will hit. Okay, mm. so it's a two, six, low plus two. Uh, six piercing damage. Six piercing damage to that same one, excellent. Um, this is up to 22. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You see the spear kind of poke out of its face oh. and then back down. Well done, Doc. Keep fighting, Doc. Uh, she puts the spear out. Uh, yeah, exactly. I would like to use my bonus action to do um, second wind, please. Okay. You may do so. Okay. So so in the, with all the mud and sand kind of swirling around. Nice. Oh my god. Uh, six plus fighter, so 11 nice. HP. <laughs> okay, uh, I think I'm done. Okie dokie. Okay. That takes us back to the top with GC there. Could she I try to like get on? on oh, oh yes. yeah, do I do, make At the end of the turn, you get to make a strength saving. Oh, okay. without an action, just like as yep. part of her? Yep, oh, that's part of the save. Mm -hmm. Get out of there. 22? Ooh, Hell yeah, you oh, Baby! Oh, I'm not so good. Yes! <laughs> um, and you can, which you basically, you can go to any uh, unoccupied space. So, where, which direction were you trying to push out of the creature? Oh fuck! Um, um, I'm coming out its ass, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Ace Ventura, Ace Ventura style. style. Oh yeah! Just... The spear comes first, <laughs> and then. <laughs> yup. Well, wow. you're so free. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay, I'm TC. Going. All right. Um, Let's book it. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to uh, follow me. <laughs> I'm gonna kind of run. What is it? South. So are you hopping down off of uh, Morna there? Yeah. Okay. Um, to take my full movement, which is 25 divided by two. So right? 12 and a half regular movement there. Yeah. Okay. Um. Uh, bo uh cunning action dash. Give me the another. saving throw. Yeah, that's right. Oh, my oh God. no, Antha. I fall. You fall prone. Oh. Um, oh, your cane just gets stuck and oh, fall into the mud there. Get him off. Uh, you have your regular action. Movement. I have my regular action. Yep. Is there any kind of disadvantage on making a shot at that guy if I'm laying I down? Your uh, let me double check. I don't think so. Uh, Why did I grab uh, The creature has disadvantage no. on attack rolls. You do have I have disadvantage on my attack rolls? Yes. Yep. Well, okay. I'm still yeah, I think sometimes out. that feels a little odd. I'm gonna say right now with the mud, yeah. that makes sense that yeah. you're sort of like. All right, I'll still try to shoot at the one next. The AC is pretty low. Here. Okay, the one next to Doxley. Uh, oh my <gasps> god, an 18 and a 20. Yo, <gasps> 20 something. We'll definitely hit. hit. Uh, still sneak attacks attack active. Again. Yep. Nice. Oh, oh, oh my god. god! As you fire oh, the yes. bolt, you can see the muddy arrow is like. Waving in the air, but the creature. Oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. That's 19 plus 4 uh -huh. is 23 20. damage. Oh, oh, oh. 55 damage. Oh, yes. 
Mm. Get away from her! <laughs> um, <laughs> like in the body. Yeah. <laughs> now I gotta get up. <laughs> and that's my turn. Okay, that's Morna, you're up. Turn. I'm gonna attack this guy that's right next to Ace and me. Um, okay, great. That um, takes 10 feet of movement there to yep. get there. I'm gonna whack him <laughs> with Phil. Um, that is 11. Wait. <laughs> 13? That will hit. Okay. Nice. Okay. Um, that will not. So then, uh, um, mm-hmm. ooh, nice, good money. Mm-hmm. Um, what, that's uh, 12 piercing damage? 12 nice. Piercing damage, excellent. Um, you sort of pull it back and chunks of mud go flying off its body. Oh, uh, it was 12, sorry. 12, yeah. Right. I'm gonna hit him with, I'm gonna reckless attack him with Barb. Okay. Oh, you're being spicy. Big reckless. Um, oh, nice. Um, that's... Oh, why not? G is off. Um, 18. That will hit, yeah. Hey, you did. I did. Hey, God hey. damn it. Um, and I'm gonna get him for, um, seven plus two, nine piercing damage. Nine. And then I'm gonna whack him again with my extra attack. Also right. reckless. Yeah, that's um, nine. Oh, sweet. Um, <laughs> that's nineteen. That will hit. Then I'm gonna get him for. Um, oh, not as great, but it's Bill again. So that's six plus two, eight damage. Damage. A knocking. Excellent. Okay. With the range. Yeah. No, that was added the range. The range. Um, I'm going to say, uh, is you okay? <laughs> Oh, that's me. <laughs> Ace is vibing. Okay, great. Uh, okay, she's not gonna respond, but she looks, she's like, hell yeah. So I'm, I'm, why not? I'm all good. I'm gonna take the rest of my movement, um, which is, I have 40 total, I already used 10, and I know it's uh, you, you already used 10, so you used 20, so you can take another 10 feet. I'll do another 10 feet? Uh, in, like, toward the bank. Yeah. Great, you do so. As you do so, you sort of brace yourself and you note that in fact, uh, it does not take an attack of opportunity. It seems like it maybe even can't take an attack. Ah. It just sort of flings mud, tries to envelop creatures and it doesn't just sort of randomly strike out on its own. Great, well then there you go. Okay. That's my turn. All right. Let's do Ace. Ace. Excellent. Um, I'm gonna take uh, my full movement of 25, so have to, 12 and a half. 12 and a half. Yeah. Um, and then. Nice. Like out of range of this thing. Yeah. Right? yeah. And then let's just make it a full dash. Great. And see if I can get to TC. I mean, or... pretty close. I want to, yeah. and then just try to reach out a hand. Sure. Oh my god. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> give, give me the cane. <laughs> Sticks the Don't cane break up. it. Don't break it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, any bonus action or anything? No. All right. That's going to take us to Ilium. Let's go. Okay. Um, there we go. In the shadow of this creature yeah. here. <laughs> I am seeing Doc pop on the other side, just dashing toward my buddies, uh, mm-hmm. running. Um, uh, you have 30 as well, right? So, mm-hmm. as, you have yeah. 30, yeah, 15. As uh, that's happening, I want to take out like the longbow that I have s- uh, over myself. At, maybe not to do anything, but I'm going to take a peek at Doc, and how are you looking? Mud. Like, like mud she hasn't like, even had a moment to like, like take the mud out of her eyes. Are you so like, she's just like, are you like heaving like, oh, I'm gonna fucking like, I'm, I'm a mess. Uh, are you okay? I have 29. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, she's looking like 29 <laughs> somewhere around there. Yeah. Three years younger from this mud bath. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in that um, case, uh, I, won't, I won't waste anything. Then I'm just gonna have the longbow out and then dash action. Yeah. Okay. Another uh, another fifteen grade. Do yeah. you want to go like between two of them here? Uh, let's hang further this way. West, yeah, so I can. Nice. Because <laughs> I don't mean to do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, that's it. All right, uh, mud hulks. All right, the mud hulks. All right, they all kind of turn their attention here. People running in various directions. This one, as it sort of turns towards the group here, you watch it as it. Oh. <laughs> Sinks oh, down no. into the ground. Oh no. Oh no. It's gonna yes. pop up underneath. And it. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god, who is that? Is that. Is that you? That's a banana gone prone. Okay. Just 
Just make this con save. Just make the con save. these guys off? That's a natural 20 on the... He had advantage because you were prone. I wonder how much farther we have to get out of the mud. I mean, with the It's pretty... Yeah, it's not too far. A little further. Um, there's some rocks that are slightly around, more solid. Um, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> you look real convinced. <laughs> two, two, two more rounds. Right, guys? Just two more rounds. We'll be so fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 25 bludgeoning <gasps> damage. Wait, is that, is that massive damage? Uncanny dodge. Uncanny oh, dodge. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Would that have been massive damage? Uh, what was it? What did 25? 25? Yeah, yeah, that absolutely would have been massive damage. <laughs> if not for Uncanny Dodge. Okay. So 25 down to 12. 12. Yep, and I need you to give me a strength uh, saving throw. As this creature just collapses on top of you. Um, strength saving. Strength throw. saving throw, yeah. Straight. What, straight? Uh, straight? Not like disadvantage or no. anything, yeah. Strength, strength saving throw. throw. Oh, baby boy. Four. No. Wow! And the last thing you see is, yeah, trying to reach for the cane, and you can feel it, but it just gets further in. So Ace has the cane, but TC has vanished inside. Oh. <laughs> what's your What's your breathing? Uh, my well, con's pretty high. My con's pretty high. And then this one is going to do what the other one did last turn, which is reach down. Pick oh, up a big, my. Big we got to break up. Guys. <laughs> Does he get disadvantage because Dogley's there? <laughs> it's not like a ranged attack. Oh, it's not? Know. It is not because it's a saving throw. It's not an attack. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, so Ilian, uh, Morna, and uh, Ace dexterity oh, saving throws. Oh, shit, guys. <laughs> I mean, sucks. Um, oh, yikes. That's not good. I didn't even like advantage. Fuck. That was a six. Three for me. Do you have advantage on dexterity saving throws? On um, a danger sense. Because it's effects I can see. Look at I can definitely see that shit. You definitely can. Okay, so uh, what was the total? Sorry. 14. 14 passes. Six. Missed three. <laughs> fails three. Okay, so uh, 10, 13 bludgeoning for the two fails. Okay. Halved um, and minus, and then half of that. So 12, or six to, to ace there. <laughs> Another yeah. missile of rock and debris and sludge hitting you from all directions. And then this creature is going to... Uh, Doxley, would you like an attack of opportunity? Okay. Nice. <laughs> 12 to hit? Now we'll miss. Oh, we oh, found his AC. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay, that's the Hulk. Doxley's up. Okay, question 13. for you. Yes. How, like, hurt does this first guy look? Did it's I just impossible to tell because it's just a mud ball. All right. I mean, it's taken some good licks. You could tell that a couple of those shots really sunk in there. It's just the creature shows no sign of, like, Injury, we can. really, yeah. Damn. Okay. Um, He's like me. <laughs> these things look strong, right? Like, they're strong. Yes. They're strong. Look strong, like, physically strong. Yeah, like, I guess they're, like, hefty. They're heavy, strong little boys. <laughs> yeah. All right. I mean, they're hefty. I can't do much then. Um, I'm gonna, I guess I'm going to try to get the fuck out of here. Can I go uh, okay. east? Full movement. So 15. Yeah. Wow, that is not far. Um, and I'm just gonna use a dash action and, and go, go further. Go further in that direction? Yeah. Okay. That's it. Still have a bonus action. Anything else you wanna use? No, not at the moment. Okay. Yeah. TC, you take a little bit of that acid damage. Yeah. Oh. Uh, seven acid damage Ooh. for you. Ah. All right, bud. I uh, mostly. Um, and Five. yes, uh, and I need you to give me a Constitution saving throw to see if you can, if it chips away at your breath. One save. <gasps> wow. Seven. So you're gonna lose a minute off the off the uh, amount that you can hold your breath. Yeah, those guys no. are in jail. Um, you doing? Okay, and then it is your turn. You're restrained, but you can still take um, actions and stuff. But the, I can't try to get out until the end of my turn. Yeah, it happens at the end of your turn that you can try. Can I make a, a, a short sword attack? Mm -hmm. uh, it's just with disadvantage because you're restrained. Yep. Uh, do I get sneak attack? <laughs> <laughs> From not, you would not if someone was next to it. Oh, I mean, man. if someone was next um, to it, you would, but you don't. Yeah, I'll try to just. You got it. <laughs> try to like <laughs> a disadvantaged uh, short sword. Uh, holy shit. 
<laughs> put that 20 aside and we'll take the uh, 11. That old man. Is that your second 20? Oh. Mm -hmm. Oof. Mm. That is painful. Uh, okay, uh, uh, bonus action? Um, bonus action, I suppose I should healing surge. Yeah. Okay. Um, I can cool. use... I can use up to half, right? Um, yeah, up yeah. to half of your hit. Okay, so first I'm gonna do one. It's gonna be okay. Five plus four is nine. Uh, one more. Okay. Um, three plus four seven. Huh? Okay. Um, and then at the end of the turn, I'm strength oh, saver. Come on, buddy. Come on, strong big boy. Come on, you can do it. Come on, strong big boy. Strength save. Big money. Uh, oh, 14? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. And with Ace, <laughs> Ace pulling on the other end of the cane. Yes. <laughs> Easy plops back out onto the ground there. Fart me, it stinks in there. <laughs> You're still prone. prone um, yeah. yeah, because you were engulfed prone, so you got spat out okay. prone. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Um, okay, that takes us to Morna. Okay. So you're in the shadow <laughs> of this creature here. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm we'll gonna bop him. I'm okay. Gonna bop him. All right, turns around. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna bop him real good. Recklessly. I'm gonna recklessly you bop him. You may. Recklessly bop. Um, <gasps> natural. Yeah. Go ahead and roll it. Oh. Yes. Ooh, that's the one that's really hurt. Bring it down. Oh, oh. fuck me. Is that a one? It's a one. Hey, times two. Yeah. That's two. That's a whole 200. Feels bad. <laughs> that feels bad. <laughs> um, so that's five plus two, seven. Seven, okay. That's okay. 62. And okay. I'm gonna then recklessly attack him again with barb. Okay. <laughs> okay, that is hard to see in this light. It's <laughs> what do you pull it? Seven plus, uh, that's a 12. That's gonna miss, uh, just barely miss. Uh, yeah. You still have your other regular oh, attack. I will regular oh, attack with Bill. That is definitely, oh yeah, 16 plus six, so 22. That will hit definitely, go ahead. Um, you know what, I'm gonna use a different one. Um, okay, seven plus, Three is ten plus twelve. Twelve uh, damage. damage. With nice. that second pull, oh. you pull it back, and an entire muddy arm just comes off with your weapon. Yes. And then as it just sinks into nice. a puddle All by your right. feet, there. Okay. I, and I'm gonna go. So we just keep. <laughs> <laughs> You have your movement. And I'll take my whole movement. So uh, 20, kind of yeah. 40, great. Good job. That was well done. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Uh, all right. That's often to vote for. After more nights, Ace. All right, Ace. Uh, I'm going to take all my movement and then the dash action as well. Okay. So, so it's uh, movements 12 25. and a half yeah. and then dash to 25. And is there any bonus, anything else? Nope. <laughs> Ace just booking it. Just like. All right. I'm um, All right, running. I'm running TC, picking him up. Okay, you can. If you want to take your action, you can help him to his feet, and nothing required or anything like that. Okay. Okay. Um, and then. <clears throat> Thank you. Yeah. Uh, that was. We'll call that. So I still got like. What, you have 10, half your. Yeah, feet, that what? was ten to twenty because of the difficult terrain. So you have another. Uh, okay. Uh, in that case, I'm gonna just sweep to the this. Southwestern side of TC, like more south, but try to get closer to the golem. Or oh. sorry, uh, up south. What? Yeah, that way. Okay. But if I can get closer to the golem, yeah, yeah so sure. I can be more of the focus. Yeah, you have ten feet of movement, so like here, kind of. Yeah, that's perfect. There we go. Yeah, right. feet, great. Hey, ugly! All right, here. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. All right, mud hulks. The mud hulks. All right, it does indeed sort of turn in your direction. All right. Uh, it's it's options here. Uh, <laughs> at least we're a bit more spread. Um, I think it might throw depending on. Oh, it can oh. hit here. Oh, sheesh. Ten foot. Okay, oh. it can hit three of you. Oof. Oh, yeah, um, but that's one. Yeah. That, I, I would. If I would. I, that's what I would do. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's gonna go for that instead of the slam. So just Shut takes up. a big ball of mud and almost like it's spiking it down. 
and it's gonna position it so it's not Ace. So it's uh, TC, Ilian, and Morna. In if this. I was a sexy multiple, 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 that's what I would do. Yeah. <laughs> Dex 30 saving throw? Game yep. recognized game. Oh, thing. hell yeah. Uh, over 20. Hell yeah. 30, 20. 16. Nice, roll guys. There we go. Ooh, max roll, oh. um, but still have so 15 halved for all of you. Oh, I thought that was and I think I can have it again. You can have it again. Yeah, Morna yeah. can have it again. You can reduce okay. the 15 to seven. 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 seven, to seven to three. Three. Wow, I'll take it. Oof. Okie right. dokie. Cool. That's his turn. Uh, and he is, yeah, that is his turn. He's going to stand there. All right, Doxley. Doxley. All right, Doxley. Uh, all right. Can running, uh, let's go full 15 feet. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, yeah. If I head to that rock, like, what? Happens? I mean, that's not difficult terrain. So you could like climb up onto it. I mean, whoop. I mean, you have, you have maybe five more feet there. So there, you can go. Well, there. I was gonna say, yeah. Could I, if I stayed at the very end of that rock, could I run ten feet and jump? Uh, uh, my next if you turn? use a dash. Or wait, did you use a dash already? No. This. I no, that was just regular movement. That was just movement. Yeah. Was it? I thought so. Uh, oh yeah, maybe. 15, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Good to hear. Yeah. Yeah. I'll use a dash, and can I can I run and jump? You can. Yeah. So you can move Ten forward, and then jump your strength 15, 15 feet. Whoop. Nice. And when your feet land there, already they sink less deep into the ground. Like you can feel yourself getting closer to the other bank here. All right. Oh. And I'll shout. Come on, almost there. Okay. All right. Uh, I have a question with the long jump. Does she then have extra feet? No. So the no. the jump takes up your movement see, as I you're see. jumping through the area. Yeah, Otherwise, you could kind of abuse that by just continuously jumping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there are video games where you can abuse that. Yeah. yeah. Sure. For TC, sure. you're next. Uh, TC, you're up. I'm uh, running here. Um, like uh, so twelve and a half. Uh, run, run to I me! Know. Well, no, I'm gonna kind of do a little serpentine here. Um, yeah, this I'm way? gonna kind of head towards that rock. Oh, uh, so that's your dash to go here, or your cunning action dash? That's my cunning action dash. Give me a save for that. Yep. Save. Oh I'm my god. <laughs> there we go, over 20 that time. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. There he is. Okay, so now you have an action. I mean, I gotta run, I gotta run, I gotta run. I'm gonna run towards that thing there, another 12 and a half. Okay, yeah, I mean, you can kind of get up to it. You can kind of grab onto it. Grab onto it. Now, do I have to make the save again for the extra dash? Uh, It just says every time you dash, right? Yeah, Yeah. so yeah. Um, Oh, 19, so that passes, that passes. Okay, Um, TZ making a run for it. (laughs) All right, Morna. Morna's up. I suppose I run for it. <laughs> um, so 20 is your regular movement. Oh, um, and then I will dash. It'll, yes. it'll just have to strength save here. Come on. Yeah. You're going to have to pass the I, strength save. Uh, uh, anything you want to do, do sort of while you're up on the ridge there? Um, that's that's it. I'm just going to scream. <laughs> Ace. Ace. Let's do it. Movement and dash, baby. Yes. 12 and a half. Well, we'll and then 20. Yeah, we'll say you can grab up on the ridge there. Yay. Great, pull yourself up. Yay. I can join in the scream as well. <laughs> you can see as Ilian and TC and Doxy all kind of look to the bank, you can see like hands are out, like yeah. ready to grab yeah. people as they pull nice. them up onto the bank there. All right, Ilian. Uh, okay, Ilian. Okay, running, booking it. Uh, 15, dash to 30. And if I can go a bit more uh, southeastern, so if he does a ranged thing, I can knock it hit by TC at the same time. Great, you got it. Okay, right there. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. All right, mud hole. All right, oh this guy looks like he's got one good round left oh, in him here. Hold on to this rock. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, he's gonna. Damn it! Oh Fuck shit! Where's he going? Oh, oh no! Okay, I'm strong. I'm so strong. <laughs> so strong boy. Sort of you're not a hovering nice. over you. Roll so you, well. you hear as you're grabbing onto the rock, you hear like a <laughs> of the wet hand, and you look up and. <laughs> Why didn't you run to me? Morna's yelling. <laughs> I wanted the rock. Uh, <laughs> the rock but I'm your rock. I'm your ass. Oh, God. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, no. There's a max roll in the D12, so 15 bludgeoning damage that you oh, can reduce. I'll reduce it by half. To seven. Oh, to seven. Baby. You are taking eight. And give me a strength saving throw. Short rest. How long are short rests? <laughs> An hour. An hour. Yeah. Strength saving you throw. Mm hmm. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Anthony. We'll just be walking. You know what I mean? Sick! No! Oh, no. And like, it's hugging Ooh, the rock, God. and as it hugs oh, the rock, you watch TC. TC! Developed. I'm coming, TC. I'll be there. 
It only needs a couple of big bones. <laughs> I might get out. <laughs> okay. Doc's late. Okay, how far am I from this mud thing? You are... 40 feet, we'll it's, say. Oh, okay. My range is 30. Um, I'm going to use 10 feet of movement to get closer to it. Okay, so that takes 20 feet, but you yep. move 10 feet closer. Uh, you are now 30 feet away from it. Uh-huh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attack it. Okay. Right. Mm-hmm. 14 to hit. 14 will hit. Nice. 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 And that's the one, so I'm going to use piercer. Okay. Another one. Wow. Bummer. Uh, <laughs> oh, five wow. piercing. Five piercing damage, okay. One javelin out. What does the javelin do after I throw it? It just sticks, it's sticking out of it. Like okay. it's, it's sunken maybe six, eight, eight inches or something. And I don't hear a cute big tush go, ow, you inside do. of it. No, it seems like the creature's thick enough that that's not an issue. Great. Oh, he's <laughs> thick. Oh, he's really thick. Oh, he's inside. inside. <laughs> he has like a, ooh. Uh, second attack. Some, I think for some creatures it says if you attack it, yeah. the, the creature can get a hit, but this is not the case. 15 to hit. A 15 will hit. Okay. Nice. Max nice. roll, nice. so 10 piercing damage. Ooh. 10 piercing damage, great. Oh, hell yeah. And <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> use a superiority die to do a bonus action quick toss. <laughs> and yeah. do a bonus action attack. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. 15 again. That <laughs> Why'd I roll that die again? Uh, okay. Uh, Eight piercing damage. Eight piercing damage, oh, excellent. Yeah. Uh, that's another six, uh, 52. Oh, and uh, sorry. Uh, uh, if I hit, I add the superiority die. I'm dumb. So I get another five damage. Oh, nice. Okay. nice. Oh. That's A series. You can see the three javelins sticking out of it in different areas. <laughs> and TC's hand at one point, and then comes back in. Uh. And then, oh, and you have 10 feet of movement. Or no, you use 10, which is 20, so you have five feet of movement left. That's all you have. Okay, I'm gonna hold there. Okay. Uh, and then it's top of the line of TC. Okay, TC. You, you take a uh, little more of that acid. Bonus yeah. action yeah. high <laughs> inside. I mean, very still. Uh, oh my god. Oh, 11 acid. Oh, wow. Do we need 12 rolls? Hey. 11 we swap his knife for now. <laughs> yeah, for oh roll. If, if we either kill it this round or I get out, I'll be fine. Uh, okay, 11 minutes. Right. Your turn. Okay. You're restrained. Uh, short sword, trying to get out there. Nice. Um, you just keep new ones each time. Disadvantage short sword is natural one. Oh my oh my God. God. <laughs> this is a mess. All right, and then I'm gonna try to get out. You may strength saving throw. Three. That's my. I jinxed that one. Oh my god. Oh, um, was there a constitution Just save about the breath? Uh, yeah, give me one constitution okay. breath. Um, Although you re- it reset because you fell out of it. Seven. So another one. <gasps> one minute on the breath. Eight. Eight. Yeah, eight. Okay. Uh, that takes us to Morna, okay. up on the ridge there. Um, how. <laughs> this is so stupid. Can I jump? Would that help me? Can yeah, I... uh, just in place. Yeah, it, 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 I mean, y- yes, because in addition to <laughs> sort of having a footing here, you're jump. up a little bit, so you'd even get a little extra move. I would yeah. like to do so that. So ten feet of movement, and what's your strength score, not the modifier? Fourteen. Fourteen. So we'll give you an extra five on that for the for the high ground. Mm-hmm. Um, so what was that? Twenty. Twenty. Yeah. Twenty. Yeah, you can get to there. Okay. Um, so that was 10, I mean, that's your movement is the problem. You're not within melee. Um, how far am I from him? Um, you are 10 feet. <laughs> I'm gonna throw a barb at him. Okay. You okay. Do so. Um, and I'm gonna do so recklessly. You may do <laughs> that. <laughs> recklessly. You, everything about this looks quite reckless. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Jumping into sick. the mud. <laughs> oh, it's cocked. That's cocked. That is. It, it is. That's really cocked. cocked. <laughs> Full support <laughs> around the table. Why now that I didn't roll it? Also, it's also that other it's in the that. corner. Oh my god! Get rid of the other one. That wasn't okay. even a roll. You dropped it. You just <laughs> dropped it straight down. What is going on? Twelve. That's gonna miss. Oh, fuck. So close. All right. 
Why are you cheer Why are you drinking? What, 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 are you, what are you doing? What does that mean? I have 40 feet of movement, He's though. Like, Can I take more. a little bit more movement? So you <laughs> use 10 to run, yeah. and then the other 20... Oh, yeah, the other two counts. So you have another 10 feet there. Yeah, I guess you have another five feet in the difficult terrain. Great. Then how... I'm... I mean, you're within five, I think, there. Yeah, five feet okay. from it there. Yes. Then I'm going to hit him with Bill. Great. <laughs> and you can take two with Bill. Right. because you have the Really the roll it now. Just really, yeah. Okay, that's uh, nine plus six, so that, that hits, right? 15, that's yeah. 15? Uh, that will hit, yep. Okay. Come on, girly. Okay, that is um, uh, eight plus two, that's 10. 10, okay. Come on. Yeah, oh, it's seven. Oh, I'm gonna recklessly bill him again. Send oh, a two nineteen. Oh. Yes, that will hit. There right. we go. Oh, I'm okay. gonna fucking finish this dude. I really gotta yeah. hold on. That's not the right dice. Uh, that's four plus three, seven plus two, nine piercing damage. Yo, yeah. it's us, baby. Oh, yes. Let's go. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I know, we hadn't cool. seen Mornas yet. Seen That's scary. That was crazy. Yeah. That's a little scary. Whoa. I'm just going to sort of like <laughs> almost launch myself at him with, with Bill. And just whip him out. The bill hook sinks in. TZ sees it next to him. You grab onto it. And as she pulls it out, TZ's coming out and it rips the creature in half. And it just... Turns into a giant muddy oh. puddle on the ground there. I'll grab your <coughs> I'm running to TC. Oh. You do indeed. Oh. oh shit. You still up? You okay? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Everyone is like at, <laughs> like you look like miniature versions of the thing yeah, that just like, bought. Like yeah. just teeth and eyes. Like <laughs> I feel. So filthy. Yeah. 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 Let's get out of this muck. Please. Agreed. Please. Thank I'm gonna you. grab Barb, and as long as my back is turned to everybody, I'm gonna sort of put my weapons away and then <laughs> subtly do my thing. Are there, are there Girl, we know you're weird. Now. Now. There's javelins yeah. in the ground. I you know, just you, you rummage you. through the mud, you can find your know. bolts and javelins and things. Yeah, yeah, none yeah. of them were destroyed. <sighs> Uh, All right, uh, I'm, I'm getting out of here. No um, more piggybacks, TC. No. Where, where on the instruction? The this is the Braided River. This is you just got through the Braided River, so you're you're looking now for the ravine would be the next <sighs> thing okay. mark there. And then from there, it's not far to Goblin territory. Uh, so yeah. we're just keeping the direction of the the peaks, uh, right? Then, you like look off. Yeah, like it's up. Uh, <laughs> all right. TC's handkerchief is just like it's <laughs> <laughs> not helping anymore. <laughs> Right. Is there okay. any, any more river anywhere? You can keep an ear out for like flowing water or something as you as you trudge forward. Oh, our, my rope too. Was that still yeah, kind no, of yeah, floating? Can. I can bring there. Retrieve that. <sighs> Try to let it kind of cake off in the sun. Yeah. And like... <laughs> so you sling it over your back instead of putting it in. You let it kind of dry yeah. out as it rests on your back. Ugh. God. Well, that took more out of me than I thought it might. Yeah. So maybe while we're scouting, we take, rest a little yeah. bit. Take a, a wee rest, yes. As long as we keep walking, I don't mind if we walk slow right now. Uh, ugh. Okay. <sighs> as you guys move forward, you're moving into a more sort of wooded terrain, which feels a little more comfortable, familiar to you here in the downwheel. The trees rising up around you. And as you look for the ravine, that is where we are going to end. Oh my oh. god, why did I think we were seeing a goblin camp today? Why did pretty I close, even, even think you getting there? Oh. I will say that I didn't fail any checks to get across there. You were the one that took <laughs> okay. the Okay. Yeah. Did Sorry. you make any checks? What? No. You the caught the thing. Um, then that's a success. <laughs> you succeed 100% of the shots you don't take. There you go, God. <laughs> that's where we're going to end tonight's episode. Well done, everybody. Uh, a, a long slog here through the depths literally. of the downwheel. Yes, literally, um, oh, as we get goodness. across the river. Um, look up braided rivers. They're so cool. What world? Um, braided rivers. Oh, they're called, yeah, yeah as they kind of, yeah, they're, they, they're they like come a, apart and come back Like together. a hollow bread. Like a... Yeah. Like a hollow bread. Like a braid. Like a braid. <laughs> yeah. Cool erosion. 
like exercise. We, yeah. You do it in like science in school. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Very oh, cool. my science school sucked. I guess I didn't do that. School? <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, um, that's where we're going to end tonight's episode. However, it's not the end of the fun tonight. No. Uh, we've got a little bit of notch and soda. We're going to do our usual thing. We'll take a little break. Um, yeah. We'll come back. We're just going to get up, get something to eat, something to drink, come back, and then we'll uh, we'll chat. We'll talk, answer questions. Yep. Uh, yeah, we're going to we're gonna start playing like clips and stuff of, of the week before we go into sub-only mode. So even if you're not a sub, just stick around and watch all the fun memories and the song that <laughs> we've written for Kate. Mm. Um, yes. And then once we go offline, just count to like, 30. Just give me 30 seconds to get us back online That's for the That's an eternity stream. in internet Shut up. time. <laughs> yeah. um, and then we'll be back uh, online in sub-only mode. So yeah, we're going to come back cool. at subs. Cool. Um, to all the people who got gifted subs or have subs, stick around. Yeah. Say hi. Go to the yeah. Discord. Join it. Discord.gg slash tip mm -hmm. Yeah. It's good stuff. All right, everybody. We'll see you in just a little bit. Bye. 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 Bye.